day feels boring. The same thing, routine in the morning. Grew up too fast without warning. And when it rains, it's pouring. I got dreams, big dreams. I wanna do big things. But I just can't seem to put it all together. I just wanna be seen. I'm jumping ship, I'm a diving. Middle of the ocean, swimming till I find it. I see an island out ahead, filled with things that I've wanted since I was a kid. Swim to it with every muscle I've got. Sucking down water in my lungs till I cough. But I won't give up, I'll never stop till I wash up on the sand or my heart finally stops. I will be the best. Headed out for change, I just started on my quest Yeah, the world will know my name, I'm excited, I'm obsessed No one in my way but myself and a test Yeah, I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best Life is just a game, I'll be playing till I rest I'll be there to claim my own spot among the best Deep within my mind, I'll put all my fear to rest Cause I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best I can, I gotta study, I'll cram, I gotta make up a plan to give me some kind of chance I gotta enter a new mode or else I'll get KO'd My life's at a crossroad, I'm ready to reload I gotta learn some kind of lesson from my past I made mistakes but I learned how to react I love the chase but I need a new path To have a chance to get what I wanna grab a good life has a good purpose Something that makes everything that you're doing worth it Something with a bigger meaning that's under the surface Cause that's what's gonna keep you working It's a journey to make it I got a life in the making I choose how I'm gonna shape it I got new lights in rotation I flip a switch, I'm fixated I'm sick of patience and waiting My destiny is awaiting I will be the best Headed out for change I just started on my quest Yeah, the world will know my name I'm excited, I'm obsessed no one in my way but myself and a test yeah, I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best Life is just a game, I'll be playing till I rest I'll be there to claim my own spot among the best Deep within my mind, I'll put all my fear to rest Cause I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best This life is a journey worth taking Every breath in it is sacred It gets hard and frustrating But trust me, you just gotta embrace it Cause what's a journey without enemies? You need some friends, a foe, and an identity You need an arc, a battle, a little tensity Create a little bit of energy I know we don't start the same But life ain't fair, that won't change You can't expect that from games, yeah You might be worse off than others But better off than another So just move forward, discover, yeah What you like, what you need, what you see Every little thing that you wanna be Figure out how others get it And respect it And don't give up till you perfect it Well here I go How I get there I'll figure out on my own But no matter what I'll be putting on a show So watch out And watch me grow I will be the best Headed out for change I just started on my quest Yeah the world will know my name I'm excited, I'm obsessed No one in my way but myself And a test yeah, I will be the best Yeah, I will be the best Life is just a game, I'll be playing till I rest I'll be there to claim my own spot among the best Deep within my mind, I'll put all my fear to rest Cause I will be the best, yeah, I will be the best
Happy Saturday, everyone, for probably some of you. It's already Sunday, just like me, but yep. Happy, happy, happy Saturday slash Sunday. Hello, Oz. <laughs> Oz, is, Oz is still going to her room. She's quite busy. Uh, thank you, Oz, for the cola. So she will be my goddess again today. She will be my admin goddess because we have to time skip um, some of the things just like what we did yesterday so that we can cover um, a lot of taming with the limited time that we have. So basically what we're just skipping is the, the taming itself. Like we don't want that. We don't want you guys to to wait for the thralls to be trained pushing the, the wheel of friendship. So we skip those. And then we only use items, um, we only use items and potions that are lootable and also available for a specific level. So we have been very careful uh, making sure that all the requirements are not overkill and we're not using something that is not available yet at your current state or level. So that's what we've, we've been doing, especially for those who are uh, watching the video for the first time if you did not see the one yesterday you should watch it it's uh it, a lot of interesting things happened yesterday you're not bouncy today oh i saw the video <laughs> <laughs> i saw the video uh hello oz hello but yeah the hello. bouncy uh the bouncy song of ash k-pop yeah they have been becoming really popular nowadays like it's a very popular um music genre so yeah it's pretty cool bounce 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 bounce, bounce. okay so what do we have so far um we were able to get as promised uh, and that's why i've been um I've, I've made sure that the title of the stream is clear also in the description of uh the stream especially for those who are watching in youtube you can check it out uh, the agenda is to tame T4. So we're doing progressive taming. And then after T4, we're going to progress to a T5. After we got a T5, hopefully we can get... We can probably skip a T6 if it's not available. For example, a T7 is available. Uh, we tried it before and T7 seems to be okay if you have T5s. And then um, after getting a T7, maybe we can cut a little bit of corners there and then we can go with t9 but if they will end up dying then it means we have to go you know pick a t8 before we progress to t9 now we have to make sure that everything is within the level for example um the weapons that we will be using the trungeon that we will be using and also the armor that we will be using those are very important so in my level right now let me check what level did you put me in 40 uh, at my level right now, level 40. Let me see. Oh no, I haven't... I haven't gotten my... Your... My faction yet. So I don't have the faction armors. Hold then on. Go. So <laughs> once... So I'm... If you're gonna think vanilla... I am 20 levels away from, you know, vanilla cap. 
And that would mean that I should be able to get strong armors like... Just like yesterday, we were able to get the Legion armor. You actually can... Oh, now it makes sense why the Legion armor is not requiring um, star metal anymore. Once. Remember that you can loot the, uh, the Legion armor from the bosses of yeah. the Relic Hunters. So mm. yeah, there we go. That That makes sense now. So yeah, you can get uh, uh, the set for uh, Legion armor. You can learn it before level 55, unlike before. And then you can probably progress to Cimmerian, um Cimmerian armors, like what they're wearing. Now, the reason why you still need to learn this, especially if you're new to vanilla, you need to learn this so that you can fix this. You cannot fix an armor that you have not learned in your feats. And why is it important to fix them? It is important to fix them so that you can put an armor plating. Any armor up, any upgrades or fittings to armors and weapons, they don't apply if it's damaged even just one. However, there are, oh, I threw them away. There are armor patches, you know, repair kits that you can loot. However, it will take some time for you to get those, especially for the legendary armor patch or armor repair kit, you need to kill um, bosses in the unnamed city. But if you have AOC in your server, that would be non-optional. Because the unnamed city will be more dangerous if there is already AOC. So learning the Cimmerian armor is the right way to go or the ideal way to go. And then after you have fixed them, you can already put some um, armor plating. Now, the highest armor plating in vanilla can be acquired once you have defeated um, the Warmaker Sanctuary. The Warmaker Sanctuary is right here. Thank you, Lily. Yes. The Warmaker Sanctuary will give you the master fittings. You have master um, uh, master weapon kit. You have the, the master um, plating for the armor. So we're talking about vanilla. So what's the strongest armor you can get out of vanilla? Oz, answer. Let's see if Oz can remember. Uh, the god, god, god shit, god armor. <laughs> god breaker armor. Thank you. There. So the god strongest, armor. the strongest armor that you can make in vanilla, is the god breaker armor with the master fitting for the armor, um, for the armor plating. So, um, I'm not sure because they made a lot of changes in vanilla. I haven't checked yet, but if you have a name thrall or even just at least a T3, actually, you know, you don't need a name thrall. That's the way I remember. Um, I think someone also confirmed it. I think it was only Tharid. It doesn't matter anymore. If it's Fia, doesn't matter anymore because before in vanilla, you need to have a specific name thrall to get, um, the best out of the armor of the armor that you're trying to make. So for example, if you want a, what do you call that? A flawless armor of, let's say, uh, let's say uh, a legion, flawless legion, you need to have a specific name, Thrall. If you want to have a flawless version of the Sumerian heavy armor, you need to have a specific name, Thrall. Um, someone confirmed it to me in our previous streams that it's not like that anymore. You can have any name thrall or a T3. You can already get that bonus. However, we already know that the Godbreaker armor is not going to be enough. We already got our T5s. Thank God yesterday. They were quite easy because again, we did proper progression. However, if I will give my T5s Godbreaker armor to hunt for higher tiers, and yes, we have already tried this before. We don't have to try it again. We're just going to be wasting our time. They're going to get their ass kicked. That armor is not going to be enough. So what is your what is your best choice here? Well, you got to remember that once you go level 60, you're a cap. So it means you're just 20 levels away. And you have to do a little bit of grinding still for the material. So getting additional 20 plus you know 60 cap which is 80 is doable while you're grinding grinding those stuff because at level 80 you can already get your sub faction correct me Oz, if i'm wrong at level 80 
80, yeah. You can already get your sub faction given that you have already done your your you know intro introduction faction quests. Mm. The main faction quest so that you can already do your sub faction quest. That's level 80. Now you can you can always go crazy and experiment to get higher tiers even though you are lower than level 80. What I'm just saying is it's ideal to be level 80 because that's when you get your good, good armor better than Godbreaker. But if you want to do it lower than level 80, you want to gamble with the other armors or Godbreaker, that's up to you. You can always experiment because my ways may only work for me, but actually you have better ways that would work for you. So I hope that's clear. Because there might be some questions like, level 80 is too late. I am the type of player who plays it safe. I want to be over prepared than under prepared. Because the way I get my thralls, it's legit. And it pains me every time I lose thralls. So how do I minimize the risk of losing my thralls? Because me dying, it doesn't matter. It's okay. I can always pick up my stuff. You don't lose anything when you die. Basically, and if you have sorcery, you have a sorcery that you can summon your body. I don't know if Oz can remember that. Yep. So, it doesn't matter if my character dies. What's gonna be, you know, heartbreaking is when you have to redo the getting of the Thrall and grinding them to be leveled up again just because you were underprepared. And I have been underprepared so many times. And yes, I did not like I did not like the feeling. Um, you can probably review some of our playthroughs. And yes, I was not acting then. I usually get pissed when my thralls die. Me dying, I usually just shake it off, laugh. But my thralls dying, I... I There was, a, I think, in our last playthrough, I think we stopped when I experienced that bug where I got disconnected randomly and then my boys were left the kuma. And you know when you know what happens when you are under authority. And you're under authority. You know what happens when your character disappears. Your thrall, you know, becomes really, really weak. Is they don't have that perk anymore. So after that stream, I I said I'm gonna bench Conan. I still, I still remember that. Oz was trying to pacify me. I lashed out. I did not like it because there was a random disconnection that's happening in the base game that time, and I did not like it. It was not fun. And Akuma seems to have a little bit of trouble, you know, following the balancing because the bears that time, especially Akuma and Kurokumo, they were so freaking painful. It seems like they have ignore damage, uh, ignore armor damage. Actually, I already told that to Aspen and hope yeah, that they would check on that because they're supposed to have a damage of a regular, you know, a regular bear, not a cub, but higher than a cub, which is a regular bear. But they seem to hit like uh, mother already, like the actual Scargath, and it was kind of irregular. So yeah, that's the reason why I want to be level 80. However, I, I will ask Oz to make me level 80 once I already have my, my faction. I don't have my faction yet. And we have a business. Business. We have a monkey business. Oz yesterday found a camp, a small camp, right here where you can get T5 Cold Embrace. Now, the attribute for Strength for Cold Embrace and Van Gool, the way I remember it, they're higher than usual. We're gonna check that. We're gonna check that if it's still true. Now, what, what do I mean? It's like this. When you check your eye right here, your stats, you will see that the base strength for Stormhold is 33. But this is already high. Oz, can you can you come can you come to me? Uh wait, hold on. Where Th are this you? This has this has already changed. It's supposed to oh, be like okay. five, I think. I'm in the shack. And I want yeah, yeah. you to spawn and just, you know, break bun later on. I want you to spawn a T5 Stormhold. I wanna see the base strength, and we will compare it later with you know, uh, the, the Cold Embrace people. Just put that person here, right here, right next to... Stormhold, right? Stormhold, Stormhold T5. So, put that person right here. 
so that, you know, we can compare it. Hold on, you did not freeze the time. Freeze the time. We're doing content anyway, not playthrough. Okay, noon and then... So that it will not be dark. There we go. Thank you, Wait Missy. On. Wait, hold on. Jesus. Uh, uh, what is a T5 again? Soldier, huh? right? Soldier, yes. And what else? No, no, no. Just the Stormhold. We will legit get the... Um, the Golden Burst. Okay. I'm gonna see the base, um... The base stats. There. There we go. Let me see. Oh, he looks good! The base stat, uh, stat is... 13, 10, 12. Okay, so we're gonna... We're gonna compare that with a Stormhold. Let's see if... Uh, something has changed. I am still really bothered with... Oh, us. I have something what? to test. Wait. But you want? I want you to follow me. Come here. Because you will be my admin goddess. Remember. Wait. Okay. I remember. Wait. Someone was asking actually what you were using. <laughs> when you zoom zoom. Yeah, she's cheating. No, I'm not. What the hell? Okay. So even though. That's arcane. Even what though the? I took my love tap. <gasps> They're still using the swords. Us. Wait. My goddess, please give me Adjust Bane. Two Adjust uh, Bane. Yeah. And then in return, I will give you their swords. There. Mm. Oh, I still haven't used the rebirth. I will use it later. I I'm dropping it. Yeah, Adjust Bane. There. Now, for those who are wondering, okay, what is Adjust Bane? Is it achievable in your level? The answer is yes. Adjust Bane is one of the legendary items that you can get uh, from the skeleton chests in dungeons. So you better, you know, you better get those skeleton keys from world bosses, which you're going to do so that you can level up your thralls. And then once you have collected a lot of skeleton keys, you can go around dungeon to dun dungeon so that you will get legendary items. Um, you should be targeting for love taps. Um, I just bane, just like the swords that I gave earlier to us. Adventurous blade seems to be the top now because the chrome sword is disabled. I am just trying to experiment. Did you kill this pig? I did. Why? <laughs> I was trying to experiment something, Oz. Fine, okay. No, no, no. I am no, no, no. going to spawn you one pig. I don't know, not pig. Um, what? Can you spawn me the big croc? Uh, like the boss? The boss croc, croc yeah. Croc alpha. I want to try something. There's a problem with the force trungeon. I, I checked their Discord earlier, and yes, the force trungeon. It's not a world boss. Hold on. This is a regular Kill it. Hold on, hold on. Kill it! <laughs> no, they're still using that, just me. No, that's not a regular Coco. It has one... <laughs> it has one skull. It's one skull. Uh, I can spawn one more. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so th that's the problem. You need to... Oh, man. I, I need to... I need to practice this because once we are doing taming later, I have to use this. Um, so, for some reason, they automatically follow me. So, for some reason, they, auto they will automatically follow me if it's if it's you know kill so violent us i like it what the, of course ash you two are the <laughs> same you like violence me i'm a peaceful kind of person <laughs> what um... <laughs> so the problem is again okay, I, I will show you what the problem is i cannot do this i cannot i cannot <laughs> i cannot do this better thrall 
and then bring bring them to me alive and then attack. I cannot do that. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Go there. Tap twice. Okay, there we go. And then I will say, bring it to me alive and then attack. Oh, it does! Oh, I think I was just bugged yesterday! <gasps> okay, good. And then... Kill it. Okay, I was just bugged yesterday. Oh, sorry. It was my bad. So, how will you do it again? <laughs> um, so, it's the same. For example, instead of... Okay, remember before that we... We will equip Trunjin. Something like that. So that they will equip Trunjin. Mm. We will equip the weapon so that they will equip the weapon. It's not like that anymore. So now, instead of you changing your weapon, all you need to do is press T. And then you have to choose. You see the, the swords crossing? That means uh -huh. kill time. Okay. You choose first, and then you, you point where you want to, you know, you, where you want them to do the thing. And then you press T again, and then you go bring them to me alive. And then you point where you want them. To do the bring that okay. bring that to me alive. Yesterday, it didn't work for me when it was bring it to me alive and then I point. They automatically get disconnected to me. Remember when they were scouting? Yeah. That's that's it. That's what that's what I thought that they get disconnected. But I think I was just bugged yesterday. I think the server was just needing a very good, you know, restart because now yep. it's working. That's good. Um, uh, by the way, ma'am, mm. your voice chat in game is working the same time as you're doing the T command. That's why I don't like it. That <laughs> hold on, let me just change my voice chat. We could actually change it. Um, I will probably do it like no, in no, my I mouse. I think I can. Control. Control. Go communication. communication. I can put V for now. There. You put it in V, but I place it on my, like, the Hello? thumb mouse button. What the fuck? Ow! That hurt! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Oz. You can... The Adjust Bane are not legit. You can throw them away. Hello! <laughs> it echoes. <laughs> okay, we will throw the Adjust Bane away. There. They're not legit. We just spawned them to try them. I thought that the better thrall is gonna work with the one-handed weapon, but I was so wrong. You really have to use the the manual commands. But it's okay, it's better Can you than nothing. Hear me? Oh shit. <gasps> your your mouth is opening! Do it again! I know! Don't move us! I what know. the fuck? Yeah, I'm not moving! Stop moving, Giga. Check me out, yeah. Hello everyone. Hi! <laughs> the sound is not the same as you know Discord though because it's filtered. Um, however, your mouth is not moving the same way. <laughs> look at me! Look at me! Look at my mouth. Dooby doo doop dum dum dum. Dooby 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 doo. Oh, this is what they do with role play. Yep. Okay. Oh, just give me back my swords. And oh, don't forget, uh, give me the sword and also give me the master fitting because I will ask you later to level me up to 80 anyway. So that only means that we are way beyond level 60. We can already um, learn the master fitting from the war maker. So it's still within the level. Okay. Give it to okay. me. Okay. Give it to Don't use it. Don't use it unless it's an emergency. Because it's uh, it's kind of like, you know the you know the term in our language, um, tunoglata. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a. It's like you're being covered with a huge can and you're speaking through the can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, so that's uh. 
Oh, I forgot. What? We need to check if Set's Trungeon is constant spawn or not. Oh, yeah. We can go there. I hold can pull you. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay. I need to make their stats good first. Hold on. First bop. thing that we need to do. Bop. 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 Uh, can you help me with the other one? Here's a... Uh, oceans. There. I just need strength and um and um vitality. Okay. On it. Oh, perfect. One roll. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Yeah. Well, right now, ma'am, what I got is plus 5 agility and then Plus 20 strength. Oh, no. I know. Well, I rolled it. Roll it again. What do we have? Oh, Mercy's HP is really well low. Check, check, check. What? Sheesh! Okay, keep it. <laughs> keep it, keep it. We will just give him HP food. His name is Orlando. <laughs> His name is Orlando and he needs HP food. Let's remember that. Because god damn, that second roll... That's why I love AOC Thralls. Okay, Oz, can you keep the uh, the potions, please? Yeah. Here. I dropped and some. this one. I dropped some Wait, here. Uh, uh, crocodile uh, uh, tail. Uh, 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 okay. Keep them. This. Alright. Is... Okay. Uh, yeah, can we go to set first? And then after set, we go faction hall so that I can get my faction. Okay. It's time to move forward. With okay. our progression. And I should remember, you know, getting my better... Um, whatchamacallit this? Um, water skin. I left it at home. Hello! Is there no direct TP to Wine Cellar? Um, I think there is. But I prefer doing it this way. Yeah, it kind of bugs out every time. You know, you go directly. Yeah. Is this the right path? What the hell? You were already in, ma'am. What up? Oh, shit. Okay. And you're going out again. So, what? um, we already killed Set twice. And so far, he dropped the Trunjan twice. So he killed twice? Yeah, uh, remember last time we were here? We were getting Arcane? Yeah. That's the first time we killed him. And okay. we got the Set's Trungeon. Yesterday we came here. We got the Set's Trungeon. If we oh. will get it again today, three times in a row, three out of three, then we can actually say it's not chances anymore. They changed it. It's confirmed. And that's a good news for those who are, you know, fans of Set. And he's using his fist. Oh no, he's using his fist! Probably he doesn't have the, the truncheon. <laughs> what the hell? Oh no, he died. Did he, he just shout identify yourself before dying? Yeah! It's confirmed now. Okay, that's three out of three, guys. Set's... Oh, that changes everything! That's good. That's really good. At level 10, and I will explain to you later why level 10. At level 10, you can come here. Probably you will reach level 10 just by running from the from the spawn area going to Superb Room. <laughs> 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 by level 10, you can already come here. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you die many times. Do it again and again until you get Set's Trungeon. Maybe... Sure, uh, yeah. A bedroll. Yeah, make sure you have a bedroll outside. If your admin has LPBR, you can put the bedroll just right outside the door. Or if there's no LPBR, you can put the bedroll just outside the campus or the compound. I mean campus, what the hell? School. Outside the compound. And then you can come here and study the, you know, I don't know Seth's movement. I haven't tried killing him in early stage. But. 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 We will be doing a playthrough, remember? After after S Pen confirms that, you know, AOC is already in a stable state. 
I will do this so that I can get Lian early. Because the problem, the problem of getting Lian at level 10 is that the only thing you can make out of level 10 is the wooden truncheon. And it's, aside from it takes time, Lian might die because of very, you know, less concussive damage. So the, the, the consciousness bar and the health bar is really close to each other. One, one wrong move, Lian is going to die and you're going to be wasting your time. However, with the set's truncheon, it has a very high concussive damage. Getting Lian will be really easy. So, sacrifice your life just to get the set's truncheon and you should be good. I tried it today three times. I didn't get it. Oh no. You might be bugged, Mohammed. We tried it three times. Don't worry. We will come back here again. Maybe after 15 minutes. Oz, can you make a timer? On your I browser? Just in your browser. Uh, nah. I, think, I think it's a lot better if I will just do it in my phone. Yeah, but your phone sometimes you're using it. But it's okay. Whatever <laughs> is comfortable to you, my <laughs> goddess. Hey, you're, use, you're showing too much boobs. What? You're showing too much boobs. Shut up. Ash is gonna say bouncy, bouncy. Leave it alone. <laughs> if it's gonna, <laughs> if it's gonna be four out of four, five out of five every after fifteen minutes, then yeah, you might be bugged. Mod Lord order probably, or yeah, something else. Okay, that's confirmed. Three out of three for now. Wait, man. Uh, no. you want me to set what? How many minutes? What? Uh, 15 minutes because um, usually these guys like they spawn every after 15 minutes. That's the standard number of our uh, number of minutes. Okay, started. <laughs> Actually, when I played that yesterday, Ash, Oz was like, Ash really likes K pop, huh? Like, oh yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, I want to show you something then. Really quick. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Just hold your horses. <laughs> what the fudge? Teach me how look, to doggy. Teach me, teach me how to doggy. Look, she's twerking. She's oh, no, twerking. No. It's a water. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> go, twerk it. No, face the light. Come face on. the light. Come here, come here, come here. Face the light. <laughs> look at it. Twerk it like a doggy. Twerk it, twerk it like a doggy. What the hell? Even in I game, know. even in game, there's already like twerk. No, that's from Devious Desire mod. Do we have that mod? I don't know. We do. <laughs> okay, the us hell? bring us to the faction hall. We have wasted too much time watching you twerk. <laughs> <laughs> Faction hall, here we yeah. come. So, since so far, as of today, as of the current state of the mod, um, Cold, no, not Cold Embrace, sorry. Stormhold still has the strongest armor. Okay? If we're talking about the strongest armor, it's there gonna be Stormhold. So, it's a no-brainer for me. I have to you. I have to um, choose Stormhold. Okay. Hello again. The Jongi. Oh, how's your how's your progress, Jong? I saw your trinket yesterday. Oh no, but not found your trinket yesterday in a small cave. In the kindling fire. Yeah, I I I <laughs> bet you died. That's why. <laughs> oh, there are, there's no beds there though. No, I don't think he died or something. I think that's his favorite spot. That's where he but usually you know, plays. Wolves stay there his... or bears stay there? Not really. Not really? Is that not a bear cave? No. Nope, it's not. It's safe in there. Okay, I'm going to profession. I'm just gonna respect the progression of the mission as well, so that I will, I will have a guide. Profession. This side is profession. You and your You're fancy arcane. What? Uh, I need to talk to the guild master. There. Oh yeah, you're doing the the quest quest. Yeah, thing. because we, uh, I want that when I get my um my faction. Um, basically, I will also do that in a quest. Sacrifices we have to make for progress. 
I don't want to be a hypocrite. Welcome back. The battlegrounds. Oh my god. I know, I know that it's mean to say that, you know, some people ask stupid questions. But how about this? Okay. I always use Oz because Oz is innocent. Oz, what is the mean the, the mere purpose of the battlegrounds? Uh I think it's PvP. Okay. <laughs> the only reason why Battlegrounds is made is because the 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 admin for this mod realized, hey, maybe if you are in a PvE server, some people still want to do PvP. And then there was there was one person who asked me, "Is there a way?" Uh, I think he started it by saying, "This is stupid. I really hate it when." when someone starts statements like that i don't let me let me decide if it's stupid or not trust me i have a very good judgment if something is stupid or not because i do them all the time also i do stupid things so he started uh, it he or she started by saying this is stupid is there a way that we can set the battleground not to be pvp You know what? The point. The question is so stupid that I did not even know how to answer. Like, I was stumped. Holy shit. <laughs> like, the question is so beyond stupidity that it's so hard to answer. I am speechless. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, and. I was like in my mind is like you and then you have the audacity to say or you had the, auda the audacity to start your question with this is stupid comma no this is not stupid you 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 have you for me. you are stupid you're if, saying if you, that if this want, is stupid my question like is because stupid. The, the question is <laughs> If, uh, not the question. The, the point is, if you don't if you don't want to do PvP, go out in the world. It's PvE in there. <laughs> why would you? <laughs> why go to a specific place called Battlegrounds, only program per PvP for you know? Because if you have a PvE server, you cannot PvP without the permission of the admin, or without the flag that the admin will place, right? So yeah. if the admin says, okay, this is a PvE server and you want to do PvP, there's, an, there's a mod called AOC and they have awesome places where you can enjoy PvP without me. I don't have to intervene. And then this guy would say, like, I don't want to do PvP in Battlegrounds. Can I do a PvE? Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, see that. <laughs> Uh, Jongi, what time? What time is the the finals again for League of Legends? I forgot. What I want to watch it. There we go. I'm not gonna get that yet. The Ikara Tosh. Five p.m. our time. Okay, cool, awesome. Who do you think will win, um, Jongi? And you need to, you know, you know me. You need to tell me why. You you should not. Say because I like them. I'm gonna kill you if that's your reason. <laughs> T1 is gonna win. Why? Because I, li I like them. <sighs> okay, let's eat. Let's eat the meat of Stormhold. Oh, so you actually have the content here. Look at us. Look at my stream. Now, every yeah. time you want to join a faction, you have the things that you can get on the left side. And yet, still some people will ask, Can you tell me the benefits of being in this faction? <laughs> oh no, that's a valid question. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's a valid question. Can you tell me the benefits of this faction is a very valid question. Can you tell me what I can get? From this faction is a stupid question because it's there. 
it's it's per sub faction the path of justice and the north watch now the reason why we're choosing stormhold is because when you're level 80 look when you're level 80 and that's why i was speaking of level 80 earlier you can already get is there like a medium armor there we go you can get the heavy armor knight's armor there see that the knight's armor that is the second best and then the knight commander i think when you reach 180 you can convert that into a way more powerful armor but that's going to be one uh, 120 by level 80 you can get the you know the the second best of it okay joining the faction i have received the token eating the token boom and it gave me <laughs> it it gave me another set of armor because they said uh, you look like shit where have you been why are you not wearing the armor we gave you i'm sorry i was hunting thralls yesterday i have to let it go <laughs> I have to let it go. I'm sorry. Okay, now I have the full armor. They're proud of me again. They will not disown me. Let me just deposit what? this thing. You're heavy. <laughs> yeah, I need to deposit this shit, they said. Let's see if I can deposit all at once. Because last time, I couldn't. Deposé. Uh... Did it? It didn't. Oh, it did not. it's still one at a time. Yeah. I bet Just... I spent. They didn't know about this. Just do it. Oh my like, gosh. One at a time. Yeah. That's a little. Ah, I bet. I bet this can be fixed. You know, as long as someone reports this. I'm so heavy. <laughs> because of my armor. Remember when someone told us some bullshit about someone doing like level 1, getting a T9, and then at level 10 maybe or level 15, that that person... Yeah, I remember, I that, remember that, that person, person. That person was wearing a Legion armor and I said, how about the weight? And he said, no, it's okay. Look at me. It's, this, it's the very same person yesterday. Oh no, that was a different person. <laughs> oh really? Um, That was a different person. There's a lot of them. Okay. <laughs> but the other one you know I don't ban I just I just tell them to go away the other one knows how to chill at least yesterday I reviewed the video I really asked him because I said like oh very good we have we probably will have a very good argument now um, why the purple orb is more important than progression and then I took a pause really awkward silence and then I said uh, can you read the title for me, please? Because that person was already ranting in chat and complaining why I'm still not showing getting a T9. He was already spamming. She was, he, he was already spamming, but you didn't show us getting a T9 yet. Something like that. And then I said, uh, 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 can you check the title of the stream first and tell me if um, you don't understand what the word progressive means? And it was not being sarcastic. It is a genuine, you know, question because not all of our viewers are English speakers, and we know that. And maybe he did not understand what progressive means, right? That person needs love from his mom? Probably. You should have been here yesterday, Jong. He would love it. And you would go like, okay. <laughs> well, at least. At least for those who know who I am in person, they would say... Well, yeah, that's really him. He's an ass. At least he's not pretending to be nice. Oz, can you get... Uh, oh, no. Oz, I forgot. What? You have to make me level 80. I forgot to ask you. Now I can put something in encumbrance. All right. Time skip. So I do <laughs> my grind. Level 40. <laughs> you know? I do my grind. I do my faction quest. I do my side quest. I do my thrall leveling. Those are the things that you can do so that you can... Oh, you can also learn magic because you can learn magic. 
um, as soon as you want. First Ascension is level... Hold on. First Ascension is level 25. Second Ascension is level 40. So there's a lot that you can do that, you, that will make you like, oh, oh my god, I'm level 80 already. All right? You, you don't have to rush. Again, progression. We're just doing time skip so that... Because we're not doing a playthrough. So just, you know, imagine that we, uh, we, we are in a time machine. All right, let's put some encumbrance, maybe one bar. Yeah, one bar. Oh, yeah, there we go. And then... I will put authority. Memnock, why don't you have a T9 yet? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> exactly, Olitharid. Someone did that to me yesterday. <laughs> I was I was level 10 trying to kill Leon. Not kill. Try, not, tr trying not to get killed by Leon. <laughs> trying to get Leon as early as level 10 to show them that it is possible but not worth it. And suddenly, someone came into the chat and yeah, exactly. Ask... The thing that you ask in a different way. And at the end, he said he believed in progression, which kind of, you know, confuses me. <laughs> Level 40 in a T9. I know, right? Some people are delirious. Not delirious, sorry. Some people are delusional in this game. They're thinking that even though, even though they're still within vanilla, they're thinking that they can get those high tiers already. Time. Oh my god. Time it's will 15. tell. What the uh, hell? 15 minutes is <laughs> Hold on! I'm still doing heck? something. Don't TP me, <laughs> Missy. Don't you. Don't you dare. I'm still... I'm. Just, hold on. Here. Okay, this one. Don't you dare. Uh. There we go. Okay. So, I, as you can see, you're so limited with the number of points. I will be doing a lot of dodging, though. I have grit. I will just avoid them. <laughs> Alright, let's kill Set again. Let's see if Set will drop another one. Hello? Are we? Yeah, Am go I on. going to TP now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My character is so pretty. Egg like head. Egg shape. What the hell? <laughs> Admin panel. Okay. Uh, four time? Four time. Hello, Seth. We're here to kill you. Set the drunk. Okay, now he's fighting. Okay, so those are T5s bringing legendary swords. Oh, it's 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 a constant drop. It is. Oh, it is. So, yeah, if love tap seems to be elusive, this is a good option. Hello, Alexandra. Don't you feel lonely here? If a man comes here named Ludet, do not trust him. Alright? Or That's her. <laughs> Remember that name. There. Ludette. Is it how how does it spell? Let's check. Uh how do I grow again? What? Where? Um to players or something. Map, followers, clan, journey, stats. Where do you find that again? To see the players in the server? Uh, you, I think you need to be an admin. Uh, I need to be it's an in admin. PP. Okay. So yeah, Ludette. Do not trust that name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, us. By the way, I forgot one more thing. What? Um, server playlist. Hold on. Server playlist. Play it one. server playlist players list i mean uh clan 
journey. Am I just blind? Is it supposedly here? Pum, 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 pum. Yeah, we're looking we're looking for your name, Jong Lodet. <gasps> Library. <laughs> That's what I was Oh my gosh. <gasps> I don't know if my crumb coins will be enough. You've been to spending buy your that. crumb coins. You're spending no. you, you have been. Oh, I us. did not spend my crumb coins. By the yet. way, by the way. Okay, listen. So that we can move on. Okay. Hold on. Just stand there for a what? while. So yeah. in my level, level 80, I can already be um I can already ascend three times in magic. Am I right? Level 80, right? Uh-huh. That's the third ascension. So the magic will be fire magic four. That would be my weapon at this level. Level 80. Correct? Let me let me hold on. Let me at distract. level at level twenty five, I can already acquire first ascension, which will give me fire magic two. Fire magic <laughs> one will be the magic weapon I can get just by learning fire magic. Fire magic two will be my first ascension reward, and then fire magic three will be my second ascension reward, and then fire magic four will be my third ascension reward. At level 120, I can already do my fourth ascension, which is going to give me the fire magic five. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm. Mm. That's correct. Okay. So mm. now you need to make me. We don't have to do magic anymore, guys. We did this before in our previous stream. We covered all the magic, even the spells, even the damage. So check it out. Um, Give me fire magic four. And then the fireball. Fire magic four. The fireball is also fireball four. And then please put a fitting already. Or you can give me the fitting if you want. The fireball, just give me a hundred. That's okay. I will not use oh. the basic attack most of the time anyway. Hold on. Now the reason why so why man why water uh, why fire magic, um Mnoc? Why not air? Why not um earth? Why not water? Um well definitely not divine and you know blood magic yet because those are quite difficult even at level 80 to get to acquire the places are you know hardy boys places unless you have a lot of companions with you it's doable but if you're playing solo i am pretending to be in a solo um game right now so that's my mindset um fi aside from my favorite there. magic is fire aside from that um if you have if you have really good skills at Super Mario, you know, jump, 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 you yeah. can get fire magic easily. Or if you're not very good at Super Mario, jump, 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 uh, you can probably respect, uh, re respect your stats and have double jump so that you don't die in, you know, the fiery inferno of the volcano. So, I yeah. dropped it. Yeah, you dropped it. Why? <laughs> it's dirty now. Did you already put the fitting? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. There we go. So, everything that I have right now... Except... So, we have one more. We have one more thing to ask from us, and we're good. Hey. No, hold on. I will show them. Don't, don't rush. Okay, so this is what I've learned... As early as level 3. Alan Pavel, what up? Welcome back. Welcome back. So by level three, I can already get a faction. By level five, I can already acquire these things. So what are these things? Let's unlock this. Building pieces. Building pieces again. Building pieces of different colors. Just building pieces. By level 5. At least, you know, you don't have to use the vanilla building pieces if you don't want to. By level 10, I can already learn my first armor. This is good. I can get my panties. <laughs> and I can already craft my first tier of... Even though it looks like a shield only, read the title. It says sword and shield. So basically, my first... 
um, better set. Not the best. Just a better set of armor for Stormhold. Okay, let's unlock that. Now, by level 10, you can also get, you know, awesome dying thingies and banners. This is the same as the other factions. The leveling will be the same, just the designs are different. Now, we're looking for something here. Building pieces again. Here we go. Building pieces. And by level 30, I can already get a higher tier of armor again. Do not throw your old armors because your old armor will be a requirement for the new armor. That's going to be the, the process. Building pieces again. So it's really just up to you if you want or not. Decorations. And another upgrade for your armor. So the last upgrade for the armor was level 30. Now it's level 50 again. This is the same as the other factions, okay? Just different designs, different attributes. But Stormhold armors are focused more on the armor value. Decorations. And you have a Thrall Trainer. So the Thrall Trainer can be crafted when you're level 60. It means you're already done with vanilla. And the one that I'm using right now, the colored blue, you know, it's like a soul prison. I think it's really called soul prison. That's under Cold Embrace. So if you are under Stormhold, this is going to be your Thrall Maker. It's not going to be a wheel. It looks meaner though. It's like a... Us, when we go back there, can you make this one? I want them to, sh to see it. Do um, I? the name is Warden's Gibbet, the uh, thr the thrall prison for Stormhold. Okay. All right, and then um, this is when you reach the cap of the Stormhold armor, and then you reach the cap of the Stormhold and any other factions. Building pieces. Now, once you're already done, and as you can see, it's level 80. By level 80 and you're already done with all your main missions or main quest, you are going to choose, okay? You are going to choose your sub-faction. Now, the sub-faction that we're going to be choosing is um, the Path of Justice because they have the strongest armor in AOC. Oz, if you're done... What are you doing with Orlando? I'm going to punch him. What the hell? Can you give me the we token are fighting. for? Can you give me? <laughs> can you give me the token for Path of Justice? Tokens for the Path of Justice. Okay, Hold so on. for those for those who are freaking out, like, hey, we don't even know, you know, we don't even know how to get the sub faction or faction yet. Don't worry. After the whole taming of Thrall. I, I will be doing a series for faction quests and sub-faction quests. Wait, hold on. What was that again? The token Path, for what? Path of Justice, sub-faction. What is your take on the new feature that Funcom is implementing in the next chapter? Uh, oh. I did not watch that though. I did not watch their, you know, what's that? The, uh, the dev stream? What does, can you give me more context, Olitharid? What are they planning to do though? I only know one. They will be having like a tavern system. I'm yeah, that's sure. what he said. I mean tavern, but I need... What, what does it mean? Like, what does it do? I need Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't I, I bet Olithar would watch the, the dev stream. There, I dropped even it. though I Even though I don't really care too much about the vanilla, but yeah, I still want to know what's going on with the vanilla. Okay. So the Path of Justice is a sub-faction. We will have that in a separate video on how to do sub-factions in different factions. So just, you know, hold on to your seats. Buckle up. For now, we're just gonna, Buckle. you know, pretend that we already learned the sub-faction. Now, the moment that you've learned your sub-faction, let's go back to our feats. Sorry, our knowledge. Let's go back to here. Look, now we are already a part of the sub-faction Path of Justice. So what can we get from this one? There we go. By level 80, you can already get... Look at the armor value of those, chat. Look at those. 
And you can already also craft a Hammer of Conquest. We also have a two-handed weapon, Silver Lion. But if you will compare, look, hold on. Hammer of Conquest compared to what we already have with the boys. Oh, the Hammer of Conquest is higher us. Oh. Okay. Here's what I need you to do for me. Ready? Yep. Okay. So again, we are using items and weapons and upgrades within our level. So we are level 80, right? And I will mm. never suggest that you do it lower than this level. It's up to you, but I don't advise it. You will lose your thralls. Trust me. You will. Don't, you know, don't tell me I didn't warn you in this video. Unless you're very good at controlling them. But if you're not, especially if you're new to the to the mod, don't. Just follow my suggestions. You might even die still, even though you're following my suggestion, trust me. Because it's not 100%. It's just the safest that I can think. Us, here's one thing you need to spawn first. Hammer of Conquest. Craftable at level 80. Under Path of Justice. Two of them. My boys will be using them. Hold on. Hammer... Of Conquest. What the fuck? Hammer of... Conquest. Conquest. Two of it, right? Two of it. Just for them. And then what else? Okay, good. I need you to make... Three sets of this. So in your... In your spawn, you put three. And I will start naming them. Okay. Ready? Knight's okay. helmet with an apostrophe. Knight apostrophe S helmet. Knight helmet there. Knight's pauldron. I think if you will ah. just type the word knights, you will yeah, see it, the set. The set will be shown. Yeah. So hold on. I'll start spawning them. One, so two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. There. Okay, good. Now, I need you to spawn 15 Master Plating. Just Master, not Knights. I will explain this to you later, guys. Master. Don't worry. Hold on to your, you know, hold on to your titties. Tavern and Ricky, uh, Ricky, Recruit. Recruitation of Thrall. Recruiting. Recruiting? Like recruit? From the Tavern. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that that's uh, okay. quite interesting. I am more interested than that than standing there and throwing orbs that you know does not even do any thing. <laughs> okay, dropping it. And then us make uh, here you go, drop it. One, two, three, and then you need to make two advanced fitting for the weapon also. Just advance, not the master. Master, the you know, like the the one that looks like nails. Yeah, that's what we got from the war maker. War maker, right? yes. So it's just two, right? Correct. Just need two. Correct. There. There. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let me do the explanation. I will not make this lengthy. Do you have the boots already? Okay. Yeah, I have the boots. I thought okay, so. These armors will require Kernixium steel bars. I just want to make that very clear. These will require Kernixium steel bars that will take a lot of grind. If you, own, if you already know how Kernixium steel bars are made, you will know that achieving this, preparing the the materials for this one will be worth waiting until you're level 80. And yes, you will be getting XP anyways by, you know, roaming around, killing mobs, getting those materials. So, 
getting these is not that easy. So, is it worth it to wait until level 80 to make sure that we are well prepared? The answer is yes. But, all the grinding will pay off. These things can also be crafted only in Stormhold when you're level 80. Now, um, Memnok, why are you using the Master Armor Plating in Vanilla? Remember, I am just level 80. I'm not yet level 120. So, what does that mean? I cannot, I cannot craft. If I were to transfer my sub-faction to Northwatch, you know, Northwatch is the second sub-faction of Stormhold. Northwatch, they have the best concussive fitting, the blunt fitting. They have the best. It's colored blue. And they also have the best armor plating called Knight's Plating. But those are craftable and unlockable when you're already 120. If I will use it here, that's breaking my rules of not using things not within your, uh, you know, not using things that are not within your level. This is within my level. This is within my level and this is within my level. So yeah, that's why we're using this instead. So just, you know, want to make sure that you understand that. Here we go. Now, the moment that you upgrade this one to the best armor in the game, which is also considered, I think it's Knight's Commander. That's the name of the armor. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. But it changes in the name. It will ask for the Knight's parts or pieces so that it can be converted into, you know, the best of the best armor in AOC. And that time also we will be using the Knight's Plating already from the North Watch. So, when that happens, you can already say, I have the best armor in AOC. That will be the time. For now, no. This is not yet the best armor in the game. In AOC, I mean. Second best, that is. But look at my armor. It's 1580. And I don't want to show the helmet. All right. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I will have my boys also wear this. Yeah, the tavern system sounds interesting. I want to I want to probably do it once it's already once it's already live. Is there a live date? We need um, to know the live sure. date because we know what's gonna happen. <laughs> we need to know the live date because we already know what's gonna happen. Everyone knows what's gonna happen. Ah, says here December 14th. Ah, I think we will be done with the sub faction quests. We'll be fine. Here we go. Oz. Can you bring yeah. us home? I need my water skin and I need to deposit the the armor that we got legit. I think we did not get the helmet legit and we did not get the tacits legit. These the tacit. Yeah, the others we got it legit yesterday when we went to the Mounts of the Dead. And it's time to wear my costume. My Lilith costume. Your Lilith. What's going to happen? You know, it's always mod apocalypse every time there's a new major update in the base game. And every time that happens, for some reason, our our old world save always gets corrupted. I may be something doing wrong though, but uh, I hate it when that happens. So I know corrupted. I know AOC will be able to catch up way faster than the others. But I'm not sure with the other mods. It's really up to the base game developer. If they release the... What do you call that thing that they need to release to the modders? Dev kit. Uh, yeah. If they release the dev kit um, weeks ahead, then yeah. But if they do not, then also, yeah. 
you can actually ask me to help. What the I have, I have my pride here. <laughs> can you put... <laughs> can you put what? those... Can you put those in... Hold on. Uh, here. Can you put those in the storage, please? <laughs> I was Are you good now? I was ramping with them. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, and you were really having a hard time swimming too. So, what the what? hell? I was <laughs> chilling while swimming. Mm, whatever. <laughs> That's the question with the tavern system. Uh, what do you mean? Did I miss a question? Tell me if I missed something. If you could pull a T9 from it, it will it will be broken. Well, don't worry. Our our uh developers in AOC uh they don't also want to support the easy way out kind of thing. Hold on. If the tavern if the tavern is vanilla, why would you be able to get a T9 from the tavern? If the tavern is vanilla, can do something about that. Yeah, AOC right? probably can do something. So about that, yeah. if if this is a vanilla tavern system, then it means the base game will only support it up to T four because it has to be played and can be played within the limitations of the base game. If you're only playing the base game, so it should be T four maximum. So if someone decides to play using mods. Iwa, AOC, VAM, then T6 and above will be an extended version. It means that it will be within the controls of the mod makers. So if the mod maker or the, the mod developers, they don't want to put a T6 higher in the tavern, then it is doable. Let the tavern just be the tavern vanilla and let you know, the other tiers be in a different location. But the orb, though, was not like that. The orb was, you know, hard to control. So what Espen had to do was to really disable it for all thralls. Because, again, base game limitation. However, he's planning to put a switch in the admin settings where the admin who owns the server can choose to allow orbs or not. So, yeah. Which is fair for everyone. Where's my costume? Where's my costume? I lost it. Where did I leave it? Hey? Did I leave bedroom? it in my room? Oh no. I think it's here in your bedroom. Is it? Yeah. Just oh. just use the elevator, ma'am. Where's the elevator? The back. I'm going to the back. Do you still remember the elevator? That Yeah, going to the map. Yeah, going to the map room. Okay. And there's like a, a passage going to your, there's I like think, a bedroom. Passage. I think. Okay, this is way better. This is way better. <laughs> Where's the elevator? I already pulled it. Don't it pull fast? it again. Hey, that elevator is big. Yeah, get out of there. That's not an <laughs> elevator. That's a, what do you call this thing? They call this something else. Hi, why wait for me. What the fuck? There, go! Uh, how? I uh, hear. What the? Oh my god. Just let me do it. Just let me do it. Where do I point my mouse? I know, it's kinda... You have to spam press it. Why? <laughs> no! Oh my god, it's so hard to hit! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Why would you? Okay, you handled the elevator. <laughs> it's some crazy ass elevator. Ta -da! Okay, my room is to the right or to the left? We can we can come here. I'll um, open the door first. There's a password. <laughs> oh Open the door.
Oh, can this place be any bigger? <laughs> Truly, it was just the same. Let's go. <laughs> oh my Here. goodness. I was already there! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Kill me now. <laughs> oh my god, you're lucky that the GPU is handling this. <laughs> Even though we have a lousy 3060. There, your room. <laughs> you're not allowed to come in my room. Shut up, bitch. I built your room. Very small room. <gasps> oh, there's magic magic thingy. What is this? What will happen if I go here? Thing. Nothing. Yes, it's just the sign. Just okay. for decoration. Um, what are these? Huh? What? There's like an armor. Ah, Knight's Commander. Oh, this is this was the actual armor. I was right. The name is Knight's Commander. That's the that's gonna be the top tier. Okay. Now time to wear this shit. Hmm. Hold on, I should not have my horns yet. I should not have my horns and I should not have my my tail yet. You know what I mean? Because I'm not yet Why? fully devil. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Where's the dragon scales? Not here. But you're not fully. Oh, I'm not fully a devil yet. Okay, hold on. So what will I have? <laughs> the hooves. Oh no, you're not a devil yet. I'm not a devil yet. I'm not yet fully 120. Okay, oh, so what just... What do you want me to do? Just the tail and the pets for now. Fudge. There. I am becoming a devil. <gasps> I have a tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is okay now. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Oh my god, we got segwayed. <laughs> we will now get the... What do you call this? The Stormhold T5s. Sorry, the Cold Embrace T5s. Where's that way again? Right here. Now, this place is crazy, man. Oh, cargo lift. There we go. That's the name. It's a cargo lift. <laughs> it's like uh, the one in the old buildings in New York. There's always like a cargo lift at the back. Where their cars, you know, come in. You can just come here, man. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is where this is where I was earlier. I was about to turn here. <laughs> and you asked me to, to go to the elevator. <laughs> Uh, your fashionista is here to... Yes, to remove their helmet. Alright. Hide the helmet. Distribute. Nicholas Orlando. Hide the helmet. Yay, we can see their faces. All right. Let's go get another set of T5s for your convenience, guys. We will show you where it is. And Oz is going to pull me there. The place is this area. It should be easy for you to get to if you are from this location. Like that. And then you follow the path. You follow this path, okay? Not this one. This one will go to a very horrible area. So yep. don't, don't, don't go there. We're, we're, our target is where the small, um, it's not a camp. It's more of like a, a roaming or a station of soldiers. So that's where we're going to go. All right, I'm ready, us. 
Okay. Do you want me to pull you, like, exactly where they are? Or... Hmm. Okay. Right. If it's a little walk, it's okay. All right. So, I didn't know if these people exist here before. Yeah, I didn't know too. I don't know what patch they started existing. But us found them yesterday. So, I will stand where they are so that you will have a good reference on the map. <laughs> here we go. Here. This small ledge here. Like that. Just be careful not to go there. So, yeah, you can Please. hear the howling already from here. So, yeah. You know, you know what we mean by be careful. So, it's in D10 in this ledge. There are two archers. And it's near the hounds. See that? So, now we have another location where we can get the hound heads. I think you have a very good idea there, Oz. But for some reason, the hounds and the soldier are not fighting luck. Yeah. The soldier's already there. Mm-hmm. So, I believe they did not. They did not program them to fight. But I have a theory. Your theory is? What if, what if, if people aggro these, that too will aggro too. I'm just, you know, They were thinking. here since I remember, um, okay, let me show you, let me show you why I said they were not here and I was sure about it. Let me show you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on to your body. Hold on to your body. Yeah. Factions. I think it's still here because they did not delete the old guide. Um, the World Anvil guide? Oh, it's not the World Anvil. It's the AOC gameplay guide. Oh. And I, am, I have been using them when I was making a guide. So it means these were the only existing camps when I started making my guide. Let me see. Uh, factions, resources, admin, prowl, and pet guide. Read this one. Faction camps. There we go. I will send the link. I will send the link in the chat. And for those who are watching, Feel free to, to check it. Um, what I'm sending to you is a guide that hasn't been updated anymore after December 8, 2021. So it means this was the time when we were very active in the guides. That's two years ago. And I have been using this guide to know where the faction camps are. Because if we will use the World Anvil, the World Anvil Oz is already updated. So this camp will show if we will use the World Anvil. This okay. is a proof that this camp was not documented when this document was made. Here's the link. Check it out. Those were the camps that existed before so it means this camp if this camp was not documented in that document i and then again remember that document is from the discord okay that's not something i made then it means this one probably existed after that you know after that guide became obsolete after that guide became outdated and that is after december 2021 underworld was that i think the update for underworld remember when they added um the underworld that's the time that that guide was not updated anymore and they decided oh. to create a new one 
those were the only camps. The Alvin camp is not even there yet. Um, the Kilgorian camps are not even there yet. And this camp was not even there yet. So feel free to check it. So where are the soldiers now? We might pull the the. Holy shit! What if their aggro is connected to the to the dogs? That's what the hunt. Yeah. Sheesh. That's what I was trying to say Hold earlier. On. Uh, we will test. There's a possibility. Well, Espen is a menace, so he might. <laughs> Hold on. In the lore, the cold embrace were not the masters of Ilarican things. Yeah. Then yeah, we should be fine. Okay. Well done. Let's see if this new discovery of ours, like using the T works. We have to practice this us because we got so used with the better thrall. Yep, yep. We might finger panic during the actual, you know, higher tier. So we have to <laughs> practice this shit. So uh you will be my guardian angel. If I die, you grab the boys, you run. So that okay. we can do it again. Okay? If I die. But if okay. I don't die, then you're good. Okay, I will just go cloak. Bring right. that bitch to me alive! You the yeah, you're good. You're fine. I'm not fine. No, I mean the, the, the hounds. Ah, oh, okay. And the archers are not doing anything. <laughs> the archers are not doing anything? Yeah, because we're far enough. They, there's actually one. Holy I shit, I forgot to buff my boys. Now I remember. Uh, this is a T5 to T5, you know, taming, so don't be surprised why they're not taking that much damage. Especially, they're also wearing our level 80 armor. <laughs> one down! The first one that actually went down doesn't have the. Oh, now they're shooting! Oh my god! That archer is moving forward! Are you kidding me? Oh no, it's going spear, man! Huh? Look! Ah! Hold on, hold on. At least we can practice. At least we can practice. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to kill! Kill that bitch! Okay, I'm getting used to the, you know, the T thingy. They're hard. Parties. Actually, I can already spam my fire magic, but the, the people who are, like, <laughs> lying down unconscious, they might die. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> uh, it's a good test for their, you know, um, armor anyway. Yeah. Oh. Well, Kaboom. we could have knocked them unconscious and put them at the base. Yeah. Ah, it's too nah, late. This fine. one is dying. Oh my god. <laughs> Espen fixed the bug for the archers. How did you do it? It's not bucking out. Yep, yep. Oh no, the storm mold was bucking out yesterday. What the hell was that? Well, we have to check it out. In the war front. Oh no. I was already happy that the war front there were like three archers. If the archers will do like that, uh we need to re strategize. I know. Okay, that's okay. We will cross the bridge when we get there. Where's my boys? They need to carry. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'm going um, ahead. We will compare this uh, the stats to the Stormhold stats. How are you guys doing? Seems like you're doing really well. No damage? Oh, no shit. They're strong. Uh, you're saying you want me to build the gibbet something? Yeah, the gibbet. The gibbet, gibbet to me, baby. Grib it. Grib it. Hold on. I need to pee also. Hold on. Hold on, chat. Uh, ma'am? No! 
Don't take my cola! I did not drink yet! I'm back. My cola, ma'am. What? No, I just peed. I did not drink it. So, it seems that the storm has passed and it's just kind of gloomy outside, but it's no longer raining. I like it when it's gloomy. Yeah. Because it's not Whoa! hot. Whoa! That thrall just bounced, baby. Bounced. <laughs> Where's the gibbet? There. <laughs> Look. What I've done. <laughs> so this is the cold embrace thrall maker. <laughs> this is the stormhold thrall maker. Uh, we have Eliza Cole to time skip. There we go. Was the other one? Oh no, Eliza is floating in the uh, air. Don't can you not put her there? <laughs> I will just move it later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So these are not tamed yet. Not tamed. Not tamed. With Eliza Cole as your Thrall Trainer, and also, you are using an AOC Trainer. This is what's gonna happen. Ready? Boom. Tamed. That's it. That's not because of a multiplier. That's not... Even though your multiplier is times one, as long as it's in um, the AOC Trainer and you have Eliza Cole, the training will be immediate. So I got the boys. Are those boys? I think they're both women. Hold on. Yeah, they are. So we will compare them with the Stormhold dude. Oh my god, she's so small compared to the Stormhold dude. Well. She's a... Uh, oh my god, she's so petite. They are so petite. Women power. There we go. Let's go. She's like a Nell. This one? Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's like a fairy. Because she's so small. A pixie. Okay, hold on. Uh, maybe it was after update they were added because I remember Rowling Milan. Yeah, I think it was added when... Remember, um, for example, if you go to the map, remember that Kilgoran village was not yet there. Um, the... The, the elven camp it was not yet here. Remember that time? I think when they added those, they also added that. And, you know, I just didn't mind looking for other camps anymore because those videos were hard to keep up with the updates. Mm -hmm. So it could be during that time. And but I just stumbled upon but those. But before you know. that, no, they were not there before that. Because if they were, it will be in that document. I was so bored that okay. I began using my <laughs> dagger that time and then I fell and I found them. You fell there. Yeah. Ah, you were checking the towers. Yeah. Okay. I so... was like killing them, murdering them. Right. Let's check the dagger. let's check the attribute. So in the in the old patch that I remember, um Cold Embrace and the Van Ghouls, they shared the same stats attributes. Which is higher in strength damage than the other factions. So let's let's check it out if it's still true. Mm -hmm. Stormhold has 13. 
she has oh they're the same they're just the same they yeah. uh they level them so the next thing we're gonna the next thing that we're going to check is the van Gogh. okay the next thing that we're gonna check is the van Gogh. We have yeah. to we have to make a comparison because this is the reason why people still want Van Gogh and this is the reason why people still want Cold Embrace because they remember the old ways that these factions they have the best thrall in terms of melee. So if we are showing it in this video then they wouldn't have to go crazy anymore going to those dangerous camps. Because we can conclude probably later if, if and only if, Van Gogh has the same. We can already tell them, hey, don't don't bother getting a Van Gogh anymore. Don't bother getting a Cold Embrace Master anymore. Why? Why? They have the same stats anyway. So why not just get a Stormhold, which is easier? Or if you want Cold Embrace, there's a small camp that we stumbled upon. Just go go there. Do not go to a very crowded place and get killed and complain and cry over the orb being disabled this this is the main reason why they they're butthurt when the orb was taken anyway because they're still obsessed that van Gogh probably is more powerful because you know this is how we remember their multiplier was higher or attribute was higher so that's why we're checking them as well now van Gogh t5 um there is actually a way if if the aggro radius did not change there is an easy spot to get a T6 T9. There is. There is. And I just is thought... It M is it still an M8 or MN8? No. The M8 has one crafter, one officer, spawn point, and then four T5s. So those can aggro at the same time. <laughs> Dead. Y you will die. No, actually, if you have a T5 Stormholder, right, you're not. With this okay. armor, you're not. Uh, you can actually annihilate them. But let's go there, us. Let's check. Maybe we got lucky and see a warlord in there. Woo! That would be great. M M8? Let's M8 go M8, M8. M8. yes. Uh... Three or four pups. <laughs> they don't have truncheons! Well, if, if you bring the dogs, they will kill everyone. But that's true. Yeah. The dogs are quite Ooh, powerful, man. They are. So before we do the Warfront, we already know that, you know, that thing's easy in there in terms of the numbers. But we are going to check the Van Gogh because I think we also had a question yesterday. Where do I get the Van Gogh's easy? Um, one is this location. The second one. The second one is a big if, though. It's a big if. If the aggro radius did not change, it is easy. But if the aggro radius change, it will be difficult. But this one, uh, this will, this one will be basic. Where in the hell did you TP us? Oh, yeah, they're they're across. They're just across. Yeah, I TP'd you here so that you know you will have like a clear view. Oh yeah, I, I will know by just watching the armor. Hold on. Let me. Can you give me a binocular? Is there? <laughs> no, you can use. Why your, not? Right. <laughs> you can use your bow as binocular. I see a spear. That's not it. That's not a warlord. A warlord is a shield and a reaver axe and a spiky, you know, headgear. Headgear, yeah. Yeah. Wow, awesome. I'm impressed. What? You know? No, I, I know about it because remember okay. I Hold on, us. This is a good progression because this is not a T9. I have a feeling this is a T7. So we can get a T7 out of the T5s? I'll take it. Oh my god, there's a lot of them down there, ma'am. I will kill them first. Hey! The scout is here! The scout is here, I repeat! The scout is here! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! That's the reason why the camp is aggro. I don't know why it's here. It found us? I don't Holy know. shit! I can use my magic because at this level, you already have magic. You should have magic already. That's the scout of the camp, Oz. It's Can not I... a... It's not a scout? It is a scout! Look, they're aggro! Um, hold on. Can you tell me if the T7 is here? Hold on. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. No, no, it's a worker. They're all soldiers. And worker. There's one archer down here.
Hold on. <gasps> no, the spear is there. Hold on, hold on. I'm not attacking because I... Oh, it's, it's, she's I there. I did not see him. She's there. Uh, oh, shit, you died. That's not a crafter. That's her. I did not see them. What the hell? Okay, that's okay. Just pull me. Um, no. Get the get the boys on run. Let's reset. Get the boys on run. I did not attack chat because I am not convinced that, you know. Hold on. Follow all. Okay, good. They're not following me anymore. Are they following? No, they're not. They're still fighting. Because you attack him, that's why they're aggro. Ma'am, he's dying, ma'am! Oh no. Oh my god, the other one died. Nicholas died. Yeah, we have the. Oh, this is stupid. I, I, I should have just attacked everything. I didn't care if uh, the T7 died. I hate I you know what the next time I'll do it I'll I will not hesitate anymore I will just burn them That's what happens when you hesitate lesson learned We can we can always you know like just spawn the other one No we're not why don't spawn we have we have ones that we got legit Uh okay yeah the cold embrace Can you get the cold embrace and then bring it okay. back here I'll get the I'll get the gear. So if the dog was not the scout, what is the scout in this area? Isn't it an animal? The scout is always an animal, if I'm not mistaken. They they weren't actually aggro, ma'am. They just started aggroing when Yeah, we didn't attack the dog, dog, but because I thought yeah. the dog was the scout. So if we kill the dog, it means we can go there and not, you know, not aggro them anymore. We can check them. They should not be aggro here? Are you sure about that? They they might have changed it again? I'm not sure. Uh when can you <laughs> can you share to me, Olitharid, when was that last data that this uh this place is no longer aggro? I know the I know the NPCs are not aggro. That's the same as the other camps. The NPCs are not aggro. It will never be aggro. But the scouts will make them mm -hmm. aggro. And usually the scouts are non-human. I don't know if you have... I, You should tell me when was the last time you checked that. That this place was no longer aggro, including the dogs. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been here for a while. Oh, this is me. Um, I am leveling them up first, man. Hold on. The scouts are in Nikada. Uh, I know, uh, I understand. Uh, I think you're the one who's not understanding my question. Here's, here's, uh, here's something that I want to share. This place was never zero aggro. This place was zero aggro NPC and something is causing them to aggro every time I enter. That's a fact because I've done that so many times even in some of my previous playthrough. Now my question is... When did it stop fully being aggro in this area? That's my question. Don't tell me about Nikada anymore. I think me know it. Everyone knows it. That the dogs are always and will always be the scout in that area. But this place was never zero aggro. This place has an aggro. And I always accuse the dogs because the dogs are also the same dogs in Nikada's fortress. So again, the question is, the fundamental question is, when was the last time that you played that this place has fully stopped aggroing? Like full stop, including the dogs. Where's the body of the one who died? I took I took the armor already, man. Why didn't you tell me? I told you, I went back and I'm taking the cold embrace. Okay. 
Well, as you can see, they would have survived with my control. The moment I died, no control, they're dead. And this is what this is what everyone wants to do. They just want the thralls to do all the work and the moment that the thralls fail because they want the thralls to do all the work, they they complain that no 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 the, the orb is needed. This is the reason why I really understand where they're coming from. But it's not about it's not about that. It's about knowing where to go so that you can, you know, kill them one by one. The dog was so far. The dog was so far and yet all of them aggroed at the same time. That's weird. Usually I just, in my previous videos, you will see me fighting here actually. Right here. Last time I was playing, okay, all right. Here, ma'am. Oh, you did not remove her helmet. Is she already rolled? Yeah. What's her stats? Yeah, uh, the when is more important to me, actually. Because I know when was... I have an idea what year I came here and they were not aggro um, fully. But someone is causing them to aggro. Something or someone. But I already clarified it. During that time, I know the NPCs are not, you know, the reason why. So that's why I accused the dogs. That camp is not aggro. I know! Oh my god! Olithari, don't be that guy! I know it's not aggro! I know! <laughs> I'm just telling you that there was a time that even though the NPCs are not aggro, something is doing the aggro and I accuse the dogs. That's why I'm asking you to remember what's the date it started fully not aggro. Fully not aggro. When? That's my question. If the birds is the reason, then that's it. That's a good reason. Do not keep telling me they're not aggro, bro. I know. Tell me something I don't know. I know it's not aggro. Nikada's Fortress is not aggro. Everything now is not aggro. You go to Sandstorm Ruins, it's not aggro. Everyone knows that. Already. It's been like that for a while. But scouts make them aggro. That's why I have to ask. Don't be that guy. Don't misunderstand me. My question is very clear. I Did had. You make the I already had follow? this type of dealing yesterday, so don't, don't, don't be that guy. What? Um. Did I con? Oh no. Program. You're not making her follow you. No, no. Hold on. I program her first. Uh. What's this? Chase distance. Uh. They should not chase that much. I shouldn't have hesitated. I just, I didn't care if it was a T7 or a T6. I would have just burned it. The hell. Now I lost my stormhold. Hmm. Could be the birds, to be honest. Yeah. When you zone in the birds, you know, the birds and the, when you zone in the birds and the, the, the dogs fight. You know, you get involved. That could be possible. And probably uh, that's the reason why I thought the, the dogs were the scouts. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're actually trying to discuss. Trying to rationalize why they aggroed when I came in. Follow distance. They should be close to me. Who died? Orlando? No, it's Nicolas. Nicolas, oh no, Nicolas. No. Well, Orlando had better stats. Orlando had more HP. Nicolas was all strength. He's the one who you, you know, you rolled an all strength, am I right? Yeah. So he didn't have enough HP. So, well, and I hesitated to burn all their asses because I was, I really saw like a yellow border. That's why I thought like, no, this is not a worker. 
It's a it's it's a T seven. It was too late. I think Nicholas died because you died. Oh yeah. The moment I died again, without my perk, they Wait, they're, they're useless. Do you, do you already have like the authority something perk? I don't have the authority, but they I have the I remember when I deal damage they heal. Ah, uh, okay. Commanding presence. I have that. So every yeah. as long as I'm burning their asses, they keep healing. At least it helps. So the moment I die, that's it. That all, that's all she wrote. Dead. Okay, this is a good stat, I think. Okay, she is... Who, who died? Nicholas? So this will be... Give me a Nicholas female name. Okay, Nika. Nika? Nika. <laughs> All right. The daughter of Nicholas. Okay, you will avenge your father. It's raining, Ben. Hallelujah. Oh my god. Look at her. She's happy and it's her fault. No! That's not... That, that, that's not the T7. That's a worker. The worker that pokes my ass with her spear. Was that a T7? Can you check us? Uh, the worker where? is here. Oh no! <gasps> the T7 is still here! Okay, we can kill her. Screw this T7. Kill that bitch! Oh no, they're stuck. What is going on? Hello? You could actually make them pass here. No. I will make this guy know. follow here. There we go. There we go. Burn your ass. See? See what I'm wondering about? When we attack the dogs, all of them aggroed. I'm attacking one of them now. They did not. That is the... You know, one of the reasons why I thought the dogs were the scouts. But if they're not, that's also fine. At least we know we can come here in peace. Okay, what crafter is that? Maybe we need it. Capitan. Oh, just a T6? It's a carpenter. In my POV, the bazongas are out. Oh yeah, that's just a T6. Oh my god. I thought it's a T7. Okay, that's a good progress. We have a T5. Okay. Uh, what is he... What is she doing? Okay, so we will kill the this one first. And then... Hey, Shoe Bill! Can you kill the Shoe Bill? It's pissing me off. Uh, Alright. <laughs> ah, Shoe Bill! Okay, there. They're dead. Uh-oh. Oh, I aggroed her. Oh, this is good. I will just run around until they can kill the, you know, the Shimmerfer. Hello, lady, lady. <laughs> oh, you're with me. Oh, you're with me. Oh, you're with me. Ma'am? Yo. It's not... It, it, I think it fell. Okay, boys. Transfer your attention here. Bring it to me alive, boys! Oh no, uh, you're... The other one is not using the trungeon, ma'am. Hold on, I made them stop. What is this? It's, pain. it's painful to watch. Oh no, I'm having the... The weapon bug. There. He's using I'm the having the weapon stop. bug! This guy! Orlando is having the weapon bug. Did but you see that? Already, yeah. It was uh, like the truncheon was merged in the weapon. Yeah. Oh no, we may have to use the. Did you throw away the swords? Those are legit. Uh. I will wait. give them back the swords. I don't have the sword with me. Oh no, not right now. But I at home. Maybe if you. Kept I it. think. I think it's. Yeah, in, in your... The I think it's in your vault. Oh, okay. At home. Yay! We got a T6! Well, I lost my one thrall. But if we did this, we did the, you know, going to... Like, coming from that direction. 
and not aggroing the dogs. We will come back here again later. We will come back here again later. Maybe we can get a higher tier. Maybe a T9 this time. Let me help. She's almost down. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Yay! Legit! Down. See? Legit! No purple orb. We got a T6. They're a little bit tankier and a little bit more powerful than T5. But then, it's legit. Oh, that's the girl that fell. Yeah. We should not kill her. That's okay. This, her bazongas are out. This weapon is still giving me the same problem as... Remember the the Gathen weapon? It's all the same. Mm. They don't follow, even with the Force Trungeon. Okay, I'm ready to be pulled. We're just, you know, time skipping the travel. All right, uh, we're using <laughs> we're using the hanging thingy. All right, Vang Vangul Captain, Bangul. Bangul already tamed. Oh, taming is no problem when you have Eliza. However, Eliza will not be easy to get. <laughs> Even though you have already killed everyone in the camp, she will probably kill you and your thralls. Okay, let's compare the... So, again, um, how does that compare to Assault Prison? They're just the same. They're just from different factions. Um, so, what you need to understand is, regardless of the tier, okay? Regardless if it's a tier, tier 5, 6, 7, or 8, or 9, their base stats will be the same. Okay? Their base stats will be the same. So, this one is a T5... And you would go like, oh, because you're putting down a T7, a, a T6. No, no, no. They're just going to be the same base stats. So the base stats of a T5 Van Gul is the same as, uh, you know, stats of a T789 Van Gul. So what's the difference then? Why do I have to get a T9? HP. Okay. HP. So far as I'm getting it correctly, no longer possible to thrall the... Oh no! I was about to go there! That's what I meant, Olitharid! That's why I've been saying the second location, if they did not change the aggro, like that, it's easy to get because they're right next to Nikada, right? They're right next to Nikada. And then right in front of them is the coward, uh, Virgo? Vir Verdugo? Vernel? You know, the, the traitor. <laughs> I forgot his name. And then Nikada is the NPC, so Nikada is not going to enjoy the fight. He's just going to watch it. Oh, no, he's not going to join the fight. He's just going to watch it. So you have two T6 to T9 in there that's free to get without any intervention. As long as the aggro, you know, the the remaining soldiers in front together with the crafter thralls. If their aggro did not change, it means we can get those two easily. It's no longer possible... It's no longer possible. I haven't tried. The last time we did... So we, we will try out. Yeah, we will try and find out. Okay. Let me just check the base stats. Look at the strength us. I told you! What? I told you the base stats for the strength of a Van Gul is higher. They still... They retain the Van Gul. Okay. Now I understand why Wait. people would go with... But I want to get the Van Gul. It. This is T6. Oh, she did not listen. I did not. Yeah, what? The base stats of different tiers ah, are the okay. same. The only difference is the the HP. All right. Oh, all right, that's right, you're right, my partner. Right, right. You should be the one listening first. Oh, I'm not listening. That's the point. Oh, my God. This is disappointing. Just let it go. Okay? All right. There we go. I already admitted um, it's my mistake. The hell? Dark Covenant ladies. The Dark Covenant? What the hell is a Dark Covenant? Is that AOC? Probably probably the Azaherians. I'm not sure though. Because they do look Shadirian? like the vampires of Covenants and shit. I don't know. Shadirian? The no, Azaherian. Remember like the the the, the, ah, the, the ladies? Yeah, the mages. I'm not sure though. 
I'm not sure. Not quite sure. Maybe uh, Rebel can explain further. Look at the base stats. The strength is not 13. It's 15. And the growth chance is 90. This one... So pretty much Stormhold is the same as the other, you know, the other factions. 13 and then 70% growth chance on strength. This one bank more on strength. Oz, make it level right. 20. I think he really meant the Azahirians though. I'm just waiting for the response. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. The Dark Covenant, remember? Elven Covenant. They're, you know, they have the Dark versions, the Shadirians. So, we got this legit. Okay. How are we doing? How are we doing with getting a T6? We, we, well, we did not die because they died legit. They died because Wait. of my stupidity. I will just go and check it out though. Hold on. Give me I a meant second. Cold Embrace. Ah, the Cold Embrace ladies. These two. So it's the Azahirians. No, Cold Embrace, just plainly Cold Embrace. Ah. Uh... The two, the two ladies. She, uh, he meant the two ladies that we have. They're hot. Oh, <laughs> Rebel <okay>. said. <laughs> you like bangs? They are. Oh my god, those lips are too red for a uh, military, you know? She will get a demerit for that. <laughs> but hair, uh, the hair is so military though. Okay, how are we doing? She good? Did you reroll her? Not yet. You better punish her. Oh, oh you're, you naughty, Rebel. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, us give me the swords. Uh the hammer is causing problems with the frungeon. Okay, I'm going How home. about I'm I use the Acheronian spear? How about I use the spear instead? Can I use this? Can this be mine? I think I can. Ooh. Spear is the best weapon still in PvP. Some people would say uh, Katana. I do not disagree as well. Because of the parry. Yeah, we need Come to reroll. Come on, render. We need to reroll this bitch. Hold on. This render is so slow. Hmm. You know what? She is already strong per strength, so we need more tankiness from her. Or else, whatever happened to the one earlier will happen to her. We don't want that to happen. Yo, lesson learned there. Do not hesitate. I know it's not Oz's fault, but I just want to blame so that I will feel better. Yes, I hesitated too. But her shouting that it's not the T7, it's not, it's not, it's, not, it's the crafter. Her yelling. It's always me, guys, so yeah. Her, no, you know, her it's misinformation, always... his, her misforecast also contributed to it's my being, me. you know, to my being stupid. I hesitated, I did not continue burning their asses, and I died, and then she died. No, not she, he uh, died. Sorry. It's, it's always me. Yeah, it's always her. Ah, I don't need agility. She will not be using agility weapon. Let's roll again. Uh oh, the HP went down. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Okay, five, six. Let's see. I think I might have. Uh, I something. need more uh, rebirth. Do you still have it? Give me a second, ma'am. Just, oh my. No, I just need I to know, know if it's in the boxes or not. Yeah. It's not here. Um, we need to... We need to get rid of Nika. Not get rid, sorry. The term. Not, not get rid. Uh, we need to... Retire. Nika. Here we go. Get her shit. Awesome. And then we give it to the new lady in town. The Capitan. Okay. Uh, her name will be... Hmm. 
Frodo. Oh no, she's a girl. Frida. Uh, I will be just go immediately with mom. Okay. There's no more, no more cola. Hold on, let me just be there first. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually looking at the HP every time she takes the potion. There we go. If the uh, if the HP is not higher than five six, I'm I'm not considering that. There we go. No, no luck. No luck. No luck. Holy shit. Here we go. Five, six. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I think that's okay. They don't really need... Um, I already... I already asked this. Even though... Even though there is a description to it. But I already asked them from S Pen. I, I already asked this from S Pen and the other tutorialist in AOC. What does the agility do to non-agility weapons and non-agility um, pets? And their answer is, we don't really know. Since they don't know, then I wouldn't have to bother getting agility for non-agility thralls and pets. However, we already have a good role. Oh my god, she's looking down at me. She's a giant! But because we already have a good role for strength and for health, we, we're gonna stop. We're just gonna keep this. There we go. And then her food, gruel, will always give them... Like, why give them gruel? Yes, of this. Gruel gives them. I think. I think it's uh, how many percent? Gruel gives fourteen percent of strength. So we're just making her more damaging, more and more and more and more. <laughs> Boom! And then once I already have the commanding. Ah oh, no, not the commanding presence. Once I already have this in authority, um, well-trained, they're going to have better stats. More chances of winning. Okay. Uh, program. So she needs to guard me. Prioritize melee. She needs to guard me. Oh my god. So follow 10. She needs to guard me. She needs to chase only 10. And I can command her to attack 15 meters away. Boom. That's how it is. That's how it is. And she's following me. Boom. And also, this one is following me. Boom. Orlando and Frida. Um, we did not give them food. Hold on. This will give him armor. Boom. This will give you armor. Boom. Gruel will not give Thralls more damage. So, this is a lie? This one? That? Yo. Thank you. Aww. Okay. Thank you. So, if that is no longer true, then that's a lie? Oh, okay. I got you, I got you. Oh yes, I forgot about that. The food is just giving chances. Uh, giving chances, sorry. So the food is just adding to chance, not a guarantee. I forgot about that in vanilla. I actually... There was actually a... There was actually a stream that I was actually ranting about it because 
now I remember. Um, so when we were when we were playing, it was just vanilla. It was not. It was not. Um, what do you call this? It was not. It was not AOC or EY yet. Um, us and I, we were in the official server, and we want we want our thralls to really get strength, because you know, you know vanilla thralls, right? They sometimes have a minus. And in the old days, they will get a they will get a, an attribute that does not even belong to them. For example, a fighter will get a uh, what's this accuracy. It, it was still accuracy that last time. Like, huh? What am I gonna do with this? I have a I have a warrior T4. Let's say you have a Lian, or you have a, a Delincia, and then it will perk up on accuracy. Like what? Should I give the Lincia now like a bow and arrow or something like that? So what what us and I did? We we farmed. We farmed for this. You still remember this us? Are you there? Yeah. Exquisites too in the official yeah. server. Oh my god. So we go like, "Oh, exquisites too. It's going to give. We thought it's give. It's going to give strength and vitality." We were ignorant because we were just playing, you know, for the first time. So yeah, this is very we difficult to make. Grinding. You need to make soup, and I think the soup needs feral flesh. This one, and then after you get all the the soup, you need to get salt, I think, and then you need to go get some, you know, flesh, exquisite flesh, something like that, like from the deer. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we that's why our favorite spot is in the savanna where the white tiger is because there's a lot of deer in there. And we can get a lot of, you know, this one for the soup from the tigers. And then we were complaining like, why? We keep... What? They're so expensive! Something like that. But we're not getting their stats. And then someone explained to us on our very first playthrough. Someone explained to us when we decided to stream. We were not streaming that time yet. So they, uh, someone said to us, no, 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 brother man. That is just chance. Like, what did you just say? Uh, it's just chance. It's a percentage chance. If you go to your, if you go to your, um, if you go to your eye, your stats, you will see the plus 14%. It's growth chance. So for example, if the growth chance for his strength is 70%, now it's 84. Basically, it's still not 100%. He's still gonna get, you know, attributes that doesn't belong to him. I'm like, what the fuck? After that time, we've just been giving, giving them gruel. <laughs> oh my god. We just, you know, we just give them gruel. And when we are in a serious battle, we give them, um, what do you call that, us? Exquisite what? feast? What is that? No, I think it's feast? exotic feast. Exotic feast. I think. Uh, look what's written above. I know, I know Olitharid. Now we know, right? But when you play this game for the first time, Olitharid, did you already understand all the numbers that you're looking at? Did you really read everything? It's your first time playing. You should understand. That's why I always understand when new players ask and I I really get angry when someone teaches them bad things like exploits. Because I know how it feels to play this for the first time legit because I even played it in an official server. When everything was just vanilla, no multipliers, no shit. With tons of resources being boxed by the first players. I took the hard road learning this game so of course for a new player especially for someone who doesn't know what they're doing you wouldn't know you will think giving you will think like this you go to their inventory and then you will see that what does that mean to you if you don't if, the, if it's your first time you don't even know how to check stats what will that tell you it will tell you oh 14 percent strength that's a noob and we were noobs everyone started as a noob now we know that we know how to read now, duh, right? But if you're if you're a first time player, basically you don't know shit about what you're doing. You're just running around, you know, making sure you 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 stay alive because someone's chasing you and that's about to kill you. Um, 
we are going to check ah uh, yeah can you uh, make the the feast thingy so that they will heal faster do i have to make it or I no what the fuck on it <laughs> mm. that's why i'm correcting you oh my god I read it earlier. I said grow chance, 84%. Did I not did I miss reading it earlier? I said, "Oh my god, it's actually grow chance." Holy Thyra, you're becoming that person. I don't wanna Oh man. I don't know why why you guys tend to go that route the longer you stay in my in my chat. Most of you really go that route. I don't I don't get it. Maybe you guys prefer I don't you know, I don't talk or being polite to you. Most of the time sometimes when you you're too kind, suddenly people come in like this. So yeah, we'll just proceed. I don't understand if you guys don't need my stream because you pretty much Think you know everything you need to know why are you here and why am i being polite still to you so yeah I, I really wonder everyone who's watching now i actually read it 84 percent growth chance and then here you are saying look what is written above what what are we doing here and also as a new player as a noob am i a noob now do you understand what i'm talking about so when you were a noob, Ulitharid, if you if I will ask you to share your experience, you will tell me that everything was efficient and proficient. Oh my God, and I'm I know English is not your first language, but that doesn't excuse you guys. If you keep misunderstanding me, then you I don't know. Let's just proceed. God damn it, I really hate it. They always turn to that person. The longer they stay in chat, they become that person. I don't know why they want to, to choose that route. Okay, let's just proceed. Uh, I gave them armor. Uh, I can give them potion. Oz, I don't want to go to Alexandra anymore. Uh, can you give me... Uh, yeah, that's enough whining. Exactly. Let's just proceed. Um, let's go... Can you give me a, a strength um, buff? I already gave them food, so potion is next. How many? Uh, just two. I dropped it. Ah. Uh. Um, oh, where is your truncheon, Frida? Hold on. Uh, where's the... Oh, the one that I retired. Hold on. Does she have a truncheon in there? No, she doesn't. That's why I'm roaming around and looking uh, for it. I think it's with me. I have a lot of sets truncheon. I don't know why I... Did I just throw them away? Hold on. Here... Here. Okay, I will just give her my set's truncheon. Okay. This one already has a love tap, so we're good. So this one is, uh, well, at least the chances are vitality and strength, and it's also for good healing. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go to... I don't know if you know where to TP safely going to Nikada. So... Nikada NPC, not the Nikada J7. So... Um, let's ah, just TP us outside of the faction hall. It's just a quick run. Not outside of the faction hall, sorry. In the desert. 
entering the black the black forest. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Um well, I will do some testing in Sets Trungeon and Love Tap. Because I am still convinced that Love Tap is more concussive uh, than Set Trungeon, and I'm basing it from I'm basing it from the color because this color means legendary orange, and yellow means epic. I think Love Tap is legendary, so. Hmm, I think Love Tap still wins. But I could be wrong. We can always, you know, we can always go invisible so that the Thrall will not fight. And then we use one Thrall. And then we will we will count the number of hits. And the lesser number of hits means that it has more concussive damage. So I think that's, you know. I think that's uh, something that we can test, hundred percent. Where do you want me to pull you? Oh, uh, just right outside the dark forest. You know, the place where we always use the entrance. I will just run going to Nikada. Okay, hold on. And you will be with me. Just in case, you know, I die, you can get the boys right away. We only have one more reserve. I know. Oh, the, this one, we spawned this. We should take this one out. Boom! You're free! This one is legit, so we will keep her. She's not yet retired, but we're gonna put her here. Oh shit, too far. We're gone. Oh shit. Okay. <gasps> Coming? Your zoom zoom? I cannot zoom zoom. I'm I'm looking for your thrall, so I don't see it from my POV. Oh they're they're here with really, me, don't worry. Alright, so for your reference Always think that this is uh something that a noob will watch. I will start from here. And then I will run going to Nikada NPC, not the warrior Nikada. Nikada NPC, so that we can check if we can tame the officer uh, spawn points. Every time I say officer, I mean T6 to T9, okay? It's just tiring to say T6 to T9. Don't confuse it with the thralls that are actually named officer. There is a thrall named officer. I think it's a T7 for Stormhold, if I'm not mistaken. So I keep saying T6 to T9. It's like a tongue twister. So I will just say officer spawn points. Zuzus, can you hear Zuzus? No. He's dreaming. <laughs> oh, hold on. I am. I am hungry, and this one. Hold on. Oh shit! I thought they're fighting the. The bombie. What the, the fudge? Do not. They. Please. They knock them out. Yeah, because they're using Trenjin. They're still in the old command. I'll go with no prisoners. Okay. But they're both guard me. I hope. Alright. Let's try it. So, they kind of reduced the numbers of um, NPCs in here, which is good. 
It became weaker, but it's good. This used to be two squads, one and two. Now it's vacant. This used to be two squads as well. Crafter Thralls. Crafter. This one is a Taskmaster now. It's a Jeweler. And then we have Officer Spawn Points here. We have another Captain. So we know that's a T6. Oh, two Captains. All right. Okay. So again, I said earlier, if they did not change the aggro radius, this should be fine. The moment that I see... The moment that I see these two react, we have to retreat. Because if these two react, most likely the squads will react as well. So I don't know where the aggro, you know, is uh, up until in terms of radius. But we will stay nearby. Nikada's not gonna fight though. So we have to make sure we knock down one. The other one will be, I think I have to, you know, just like what I did earlier. I will get the aggro for the one. And then they can get busy with the other one. All right. Uh, the consciousness bar is going down, going down. so I would yeah, say, yeah, it's tameable. Working. My question is, when did this place did not become tameable anyway? I don't remember. This place has always been tameable. Now he's joining, hey! With me. Hey, I poke his butt. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that us? I poke his butt. Careful. Oh no. oh no, 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 you're getting too near. Hold on, are we good? Oh, oh no. no, okay. Oh no, 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 the squad, the squad is okay. Okay, I will poke the Taskmaster. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Taskmaster's with me. We can actually take her if you want. Ah, uh, me? No, I can. I, we can actually take her if we want to. It's up to you. Go. We need a Taskmaster in our playthrough, and this one is legit. No, I still want you know that. We ah, yeah. Be... Okay, then we'll kill this. Yeah, starting from scratch. Hey, you guys hurry up! The oh. fuck? Now... <laughs> oh, it's... Okay, time to kill. Kill her. Oh no, I think... Uh... I think they're hitting the one. No? No. Oh, okay. Us is using her dagger. Go, us! Go, us! <laughs> it's too slow, so why not, right? It's too slow. Okay. Oh my god. Our god, our goddess has no patience. Okay, there. And where's the other one? Here. So now we have three T6? But of course, we're not gonna bring three T6. That's overkill. Way home. Yay! We got T6! And you can, maybe after an hour, you can come back here and check. Check again. Yeah, th this one is, you know, not part of the tameable ones. This is like a quest NPC, you need to kill him. Thank you so much for the follow, I didn't see that. Who was that? Oh my god. Uh, 
<laughs> Stupid boar. Whoever you were, I didn't see the name. It popped up. Um, let me see if I can see it. What's what's wrong with the boar? Kill. <laughs> Us. She has no patience. She's actually because, mad. I actually because it's the time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know she's mad. And she has the same, you know, she has the same reason why she will be mad. I just don't get easily mad. I just feel bad. Where are them? Where are them? Where are they? Where are them? Where are them? Oh, oh. shit. The red My is. phone. Oh, Jong is here. See what I mean, Jong? If you were watching earlier, see what I mean? They always go that route. I don't know why. Hola. Some some of them wait for months. Hola, hola. Some of them wait for just hours. And yeah. Hey. Oz? What? What? Where's the other one? Oh shit! What? Yeah, sometimes playing the league is more relaxing than streaming. When, you know, shit like that happens. It's good to be in murder mode, Oz. <laughs> what a good example you are, Ash. <laughs> good example. Well, yeah. I wouldn't know the feeling. But they said it's like riding a dragon. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. I will strangle you. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Ooh. I feel like I'm a psycho. Oh, so we have a big boy. Oh. Well, I got to I got to respect why people like the Van Gogh. Look at them. They're huge. And they're not awkward with their so hugeness. They look awesome. How big is it? Look. This is the regular... I did not change my height during the character creation. And I will stand right next to it. Look at me. That's how big they are. God damn, right? We need to reroll them, though. Though they are huge, but they are not that tanky. Look. Um... I remember the patch that caused the Thralls to be weak. <laughs> Do you know when, Oz? Uh, no. Try to remember. <laughs> I think it's it's when Age of Sorcery came out. There you go. I think. And what did what did what did the person yesterday say? So, when I asked him to watch the previous playthrough, which was July this year, he said there were patches that made Thralls weak. Nope, it was not last July. It was when Age of Sorcery started. And that was way... I think it was even in 2022, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think they nerfed it twice? I'm not sure. Uh, was it twice? Twice, but the um, the main the main one was really the the age of sorcery. Yeah. I would remember that clearly because remember when people were complaining about the zombies having too much HP when converted. Yeah. I think it started from that complaint when they started to nerf the HP of the thralls and. The mods like AOC, they didn't have any choice but to follow that because it's base game limitation. So they nerfed it when Age of Sorcery was was introduced. They probably did some nerfing as well, but the nerfing was way before July this year. Way before July this year. 
So, if we were able to get a T9 in July playthrough, there's no reason that we will not get T6789 for this patch. Because the Thralls, did, they did not touch the Thralls anymore from the last time we actually did the playthrough. So yeah, there you go. I want this one, the big boy. Can you re-roll her? Uh, him, I mean. One uh -huh. boy, one girl. Ah, oh, this one's good now. Hold on. Orlando will be retired. <laughs> Every time you do something good, you are retired. Orlando will be retired. Where? Oh, us. Come here. What? I know. I don't think you will see this. Look at my... Look at my POV. I can't because my phone died and it's still charging. Uh, Give me a second. Uh, I... For some reason, it's telling me where to put it. The thrall. There's like a green marker. It snaps! What the fuck? Me? Eh? Yeah. What is this? I haven't seen this feature before. It should be a mod. Could be? I don't know. Well, it's too close to the door. It should be a mod. It has to be. <laughs> oh my god, just looking down at me. Now I remember why I decided to make myself big. In some of the playthroughs. They keep looking down at me. I feel so small. Um, what's her what's his stats? Hold on, you were like Oh no, you uh, didn't yet. Okay. My bad, my god. Look at this HP. That's why I thought you already did. Stop. You're asking me to go here you and then you go there, you do this and you No, you don't have to go there because I don't think you will see the green thing. I want I want you to see the POV. On my stream. But it's okay. I, will I don't you. know if that's good. Check it out. I will show out. you later. No, I, what do you mean it's good? It's good because it snaps. Mem, no. The stats? I don't know if that stat is good. Check it out. Oh, this is okay. Thank you. Um, Follow. Oh, program first. Hold on. He will be the new bearer of the love tap. Yay. Us? I have a feeling that Love Tap is better than... Oh! What? Okay, Us. What? You can, you can make yourself invisible, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. We, we need to put an end to this. Because I've been wondering myself too. Uh, here's a Love Tap. I'll, I'll drop it. Here we go. And here's also a set strungeon. There we go. Now, follow my instructions clearly so that you will not die. Make yourself invisible. Oh no, not invisible. I think cloak. Yeah, cloak. And then go to Lian. I will follow you. We will be watching from afar. And you have to count how many times you hit Lian. Let's go with the set strungeon first. And then we will see how many times you have to hit Leon's, um, Leon before he goes down. Hold on, wait for me. I will bring my boys, just in case, you know, emergency. I don't have the strength attributes. No, that's okay. It doesn't matter? It doesn't matter because you will be using them. You. So you, you're the equalizer. So the only thing different is the one you're holding. You know what I mean? Okay. Your, your concern is all about doing it fast. Or slow. I don't care if you're okay. doing it slow. At least we will be able to count the numbers. Right, hold on. Oh, us! What? I'm sorry. You were looking for the weapons earlier, right? Yeah. I have it with me. Should I just throw them away? Yeah. The ones that you spawned? Mm. Okay. You spawned one adventure blade? Yeah, and one pepper's blade. Without the fitting, right? Without the fitting. Okay, I'm throwing it here. Mm. Thank you. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I have it. Like, I have to scroll down. It was in my inventory. And I was like crazy, like looking all over my for bad. it. My bad. And you're asking me a my lot of bad. things. My bad. Let's go. Stop whining. According to Rebel, we have to stop whining. <laughs> you whine Let's a proceed. lot. Well... I, I sometimes forget I just have to ignore 
thingies, especially when people don't understand English well. Um, hold on. Just be there. I'll, I'll catch up. Base distance. Mm. Follow. We're good. All right, it's time to know the truth. Oh, Oz, I'm here. Uh, Where are you? Are you at Leon already? Yeah. Um. What? Just come here where we usually fight Leon. Okay, we will watch from here. Mm, the other one's not following it. Okay. Okay, just spawn Leon. Don't not so close to us. Go there. Leon might aggro to me. Going to scout. Yeah, I know. We're we're gonna okay. go far. I need you to count loudly though. Okay. It will keep on walking even I know. if I hit it. I know. What if I will just go uncloak and then I will just go god, god mode. mode? That's that's okay also, so that he will keep attacking you. So we're trying to test something, chat. You have to bear with us because I believe a lot of people would wonder about this as well. Which one is stronger, Love Tap or Set Strungeon? I'll go. go Set first. Here you go. One, two, three. You can go faster if you want, as long as you're counting. Four, it. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. He's down. Fifteen hits with set strungeon is down. Yeah. Okay. Another Leon set strungeon still. We need to establish if it's still 15, 14, 16. If it's 14, 15, 16, then we can say it's 15. You said 15, right? 1, 5? Yeah, 15. Okay. Take note of it because I won't forget it. I swear I yeah, won't forget Yeah, 15, forget 1, 5. Go ahead. Another Leon set strungeon still. You can, can again. Set strungeon still? Yeah, set. Okay. You can, you can hit, you know, faster. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It's really fifteen, okay? So fifteen hits with set strungeon. It might be, you know, it might be three for you guys, it might be four because you might be stronger than Oz attributes, but she is the handler of the, the trungeon. So, whatever number she's gonna get, it's gonna be the same. Now, let's go Love Tap. Love Tap is a legendary trungeon. So, I would assume it will be faster with a Love Tap. Go ahead, when you're ready. Ten, eleven. What the hell? Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No. Nope. Oh. Fifteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, the legendary loses. One more. That those were just like single attacks. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's the number of hits us. Okay. Go. It's the number of hits that matter. Doesn't matter if it's single or combo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, the hell, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's 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 proven. Set's Trungeon is more powerful in terms of concussive damage than 
love tap. And it's a constant spawn. And a constant drop. That's huge. That's big. Okay. Oz? What? Grab your Kronixium Trunjan. Mm. Kronixium Trunjan. With the... The blunt fitting from... From Northwatch. Blunt... Blunt fitting. Exceptional blunted kit. Yes. Like the blue one, the right? The blue one, yes. So what I'm asking us right now to use is the top trunjan in the top fitting in AOC. Top fitting, top trunjan in AOC. It's it's a lot of grind. So it has to be more powerful than set. It has to. Go. I will freak out if set is still stronger. But it could be possible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. <laughs> nine hits! Do it again. What are we gonna do with these Leans? <laughs> <laughs> just leave them there. Yeah, you, you can just kill them, right? So that they will not spawn. No, just, just leave them there. <laughs> and then they will be walking around after that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! Nine. Okay. So the Kernixium Trunjan with the top blunt fitting is still going to be the best. Okay. And this is the progression that I was talking about that you will miss if you're using the purple orb. And these Trunjans are here for you to use, supposedly. And yet, you will not need them anymore if you're using the purple orb. So I'm just putting it out there. It's your choice now if you want to enjoy the progress of, you know, taming. Or if you still want to use the purple orb. At the end of the day, it's just going to be your choice. There we go. All right. Thank you, Oz. Throw that away. <laughs> She's been poking them. Oh, shit. I'm hung. I'm not hungry. Thursday, let's go to the lake. Get water. Bring in my boy. It's not dying, ma'am. Yeah, because your spear is poo poo. What I told spear you to. Am I gonna use? No, shift delete. Um... Is it working though? Even though they're unconscious? No, it's not. <laughs> shift delete! It doesn't. No, use your power. Oh, there. He died it now. What the hell? Okay, huh? what are we gonna... I said, what the hell? So, Frodo... Frodo and Frida. Magic. Told you. It's easier <laughs> if it's magic. <laughs> Jong, when are you gonna continue your progress? <laughs> he just placed a bed and made a trinket and that's it. It's just play League of Legends for chill. Your priority should be progressing in this game. <laughs> or else you will never learn. I even forgot vanilla thingies in this game already. When was the last time we played this game like vanilla vanilla? Uh, I can't remember. Years ago? Almost two years ago? Like Leon vanilla did. vanilla? It's been quite a while. Leon did. Oh, oh, oh. There's a taxidermy uh, wolf. Uh, I killed a wolf. The taxidermied wolf, man. All right. <laughs> okay, so we have... Before we proceed to the next area. So, we tried here. It's very easy to find because I have my death marker here. So, they're across right here. Um, maybe don't do what I did, like kill the, you know, kill the, for some reason, for some reason attacking the dogs, I grow the whole camp, but 
attacking them from this side one by one not the dogs it seems like they don't they don't care like this side did not care when i was attacking um one of the soldiers earlier by the roots i can probably still try doing that again let's see if it's always true that they don't attack as long as they're being pulled on this direction um the last one that we visited earlier was aloran so if Ferengar is here, Nikada is here. So yeah, here. There are two spawn points here. They are tameable and they have been tameable ever since. I don't know if there was a time that they stopped taming them, but now it's tameable and it's easy. <clears throat> if ever you have again, the word easy is very subjective depending on what you have. If I have if I only had vanilla T4 that's not going to be easy. They're going to be dead. Even though they're wearing, you know, the Godbreaker armor. If you're bringing a... Uh, if you're bringing an Iwa Thrall with a... What do you call their armors, us? Crystal armors? Was it crystal? Yeah. Crystal breaker something? Or? They're, yeah, and then they're wearing a crystal armor or crystal breaker, as us mentioned. Then it will be very easy. Because um, the thralls in a uh, in Iwa they ignore um, thirty percent damage and their health regen is insane, so it will be very easy for um, an Iwa thrall to get or to do whatever we did earlier. Um, earlier when we did that, we have one T six and one T five, and you just have to distract the other one. So that, because the better Thrall is not functioning the same as before. So you have to use the, the T command. This one. And you need time because every time, when, when you're running like that, when you're running, when you press T, you stop. So if ever, if ever Force Trunjan, Force Trunjan before is, even though you're running, since you can switch weapons when you're running, your Thralls are also switching weapons. That's Force Trunjan, and uh, I checked their Discord, and they said it's not functioning right now, but they're going to try their best to put it back the same as before. But for now, we need to use the command, the T command. But the bad thing about the T command is, if you're running, you have to stop. It will stop once you press T. So, you might get hit. You can get one shot, and, you know, that's why I practiced earlier. And never hesitate. If you think, if you think your thralls are not ready yet, you can see the HP bar, like going down like crazy. Run, just run, run and command them like that. Press E, run and then press E, run and then press E, and then, you know, like triple tap to return. So that's how you, you know, you make them follow you and, you know, they will stop. They will stop fighting. And then every time you triple tap, you will see on your right screen, it says, Ordered Frida and Frodo to return. They're going to follow you without fighting anymore. It's not a shame. It's not a shameful thing to run away when you, when you see that you're not ready. It will be more painful if you lose them because you hesitated. All right. Now, we will go to Stormhold, the one that I showed yesterday. So, if ever, you know, you will see like, ah, the Van Gul seems to be very deadly. Though, they have good stats, but they seem to be more deadly than ever. Than, not ever, deadlier than other factions. Um, is there anywhere else that I can get a T6 to T9? The answer is yes. Let's go, Warfront. Bye. My goddess will pull me to Warfront. And this is where we ended our stream yesterday. And this is where we're going to tame our next officer thralls. So if it if it's a if it's a T9, we have two T6. Maybe we can try. I repeat, maybe. I'm not making any promises. But if I see their bars going down fast, I will 
bring them away. Right away. Oh, it's a Capitan. It's a T6. We have enough T6 already, so that's okay. Oh, a Smelter. It's a Commander! <gasps> it's a T8! Oh yeah! Oh, this is perfect. It's a T8. It's a T8. La da 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 da. All right. Um, the stats will be uh, the attributes will be lower than a Van Gogh, but the HP is higher. Okay. So, I'm just afraid. Seems to be the archers are not backing away when we did it with a old embrace. I hope. It's not going to make a lot of trouble. So, what I'm going to do is... Oh. No, I don't like that. What the... What do we have here? So, it's a mammoth. It's so, a this is what we can do. We can play around until here. We can play around this area until here. We should not go beyond this, you know, this area. Or else the mammoth is already going to aggro. Now, why is it important that we have a big fl uh, playing field? Because sometimes... Let me grab my bow while explaining. Because sometimes... Let me grab it again. Because sometimes when you pull... So it's like this. These two, they're supposed to be four here. One and two. Like, they're standing side by side. And there's also another one here standing by side by side. After the patch, this recent patch, there's only one. And then the two got replaced by uh, multiple archers at the back. And then here is the big boy. Now, during our last playthrough last July, when there were still four... I'm not sure if there were archers already. And we always do this. We shoot one of the T5s. We run a little further and see who follows. Now, if three of them will follow, most likely. Most likely, the three of them will follow. The big boy and the two T5s. That would be okay. I will do the same thing that I did. I will aggro the big boy. Run around with the big boy until my boys and my girls can kill the T5s. That's the plan. So let's do it. I want them to be far away for now. I don't want them to attack. So they are... There we go. They are in a kill mode. I'm shooting the first T5. And I'm gonna back away. I'm, I'm gonna command my thralls and see who follows. Oh, shit. Oh, the archer follows. Don't bring them there, man. I know. It's... It could attract the scourge boss. They're too near. Let me focus us. Okay. Let me focus. That's okay. Uh, for some reason, Frodo is not returning. Attack this one. There we go. Uh, I need to aggro the general. Not the general, sorry. This boy. Oh, their HP. Yeah, because they are painful. Hold on. I think I can help with the blood ma uh, with the fire magic, because the others will die faster, and the the the, the higher tier will remain. Okay, there. I just need them to stop, and then God, this is difficult. No, the commander is dying, man. 
No, don't worry. They're back to trungeon mode. Let's see. I think that would be enough. I, again, I hesitated to use magic. I forgot that, you know, sometimes I forget that these things are not squishy. The T5s will die first. Us, uh, move away, move away, move away. You're in the way. Oh, no. They're, they're gonna survive. The commander will survive. Look how painful that thing is. HPO That's okay. Death. We might lose someone here, but you know, we can join actually. Okay. You can help. Please help your trials, right? So again, no, 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 don't help me. Me, I, I mean me. Like when I say you, it means me, like the player. <laughs> Thank you, us, for attempt, you know, attempting to, to help. But I'm giving an example for like, what if you're playing solo? No sacrifice, no glory. We might lose the girl. Or may not. You just have to do your best. Again, remember, this is a T6 versus a T8. And she lived! Now, kill mode. Kill these bastards. So we kinda skip two levels there. Because that's from T6 to T8. What are you doing in there, my man? Yeah, I think uh, the archers in AOC, they have a different reaction for the archers in vanilla. The archers in vanilla, they will keep backing away. For some reason, these things chase. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. More challenge. Where's the other one? That's legit kill. Where is it? It's here. You're uh, looking for the commander, right? Not the commander. The other one, like uh, the other archer. It's gone. Probably it went back. Oh, no. I killed two. I just looted one. Hold on, we just oh. give it to. You deserve this more, Frida. You almost died. There! That's a T8, motherfucker! Is it doable without the the orb so far? It's it's looking good. If you will do that in the middle of the camp because you just want to do it without thinking where to position. Oh yeah. I will not lie to you. They will die. You will die. 100%. Are we going home? Hold on. See, I told you the archer is... There's one archer here, though. So, all of them chased except this one. This one needs to be... I think this one will be trialed for treason. <laughs> or... No, not treason, sorry. I think you call that court-martial. It's a court-martial um, offense. Not to follow orders from... It's a commander nonetheless. Look. We got your commander. Okay. Let me just bring it. I will do the We got your commander song. We got your commander. We got your commander. Blah, 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 blah. We didn't use an orb. Blah. <laughs> and, then you, and then you exit. You have to tease them. Look, you're you're can you imagine you're dragging an officer out of the camp and they're not doing anything? What oh, kind and of... I can still I can still remember who was that again? Was that Ian something? No, no, no. Um We From got the black your hand. captain, we got uh Yoshua. I forgot his name. A Yoshua. There. <laughs> Freaking Ayoshua. That was our first low level T4. <laughs> Uh, and is, they were they were like chasing us. They were like, chasing a lot. what? Because you were, it was in the galleon here. And Ayoshua <laughs> would usually be on the tip of on the tip of the ship. And we knocked down Ayoshua, ignoring everyone. And then once we got Ayoshua, we drag his ass 
and we were it was not streaming though it, we were still playing it alone we got your we got your captain we got your captain something like that like nah, 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 and everyone was chasing us in that area it was crazy oh my god I, I went to the wrong I keep it to the wrong area shit I was thinking of home <laughs> Hmm? Uh, I TP to the wrong area. Oh my god, Frida, we almost lost you there, lady. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> you hesitated? No, I hesitated. Actually. I didn't think right away. <clears throat> so you have to consider that. <clears throat> Especially a T9. A T9 will weigh... We'll weigh, like, we'll have more and more HP than T5s, the T9. So, you can help your your Thralls by, you know, spamming magic area right away so that you can still have more HP left on the T9 if it's time to get a T9. We, we're still going back there. There's still something I want to test. So how someone asked earlier, how is it different from a soul prison? Okay, I will show you. Huh? What? Us? What? I lost. Oh no! What? I think I left him there. There you go. Just give me the bind and I will... No, it's here! I don't see it! Then give me the bind. I will just take it. Because I let it go, I think. After TPing. Sorry, my bad. Good thing you can see it. Go. Here's the bind. Put it in the... Uh, give it to me, I mean. I know. Just, you... no, no, just put it in the soul prison directly. I might lose it. Oh, here? He's under the mesh, you sneaky bastard. There. So someone was asking earlier, how is it different from the soul prison? It's uh, it's not different. So I will show you. And I will show you um, without Eliza Cole. Without <laughs> Eliza Cole, it's fast. But it's not, it's not immediate. With Eliza Cole. It's immediate. Boom! Just like that. And here's more. If you will create a truncheon while Eliza Cole is in the torturer's table, the truncheon will be more in terms of concussive damage. I'm not sure with the percentage it's in the cheat sheet, but yes. It will be more than the truncheon that Oz tested earlier. More potent. All right, let's see our uh, commander. T8. <clears throat> Here we go. With with bangs. A T8 with bangs. Oh, a little taller. <gasps> it's kind of huge. All right, do your thing, lady, and then reroll. You know what I want. And then we, we're gonna bring him there. Okay, so it will be boys now. Thank you, Frida. You are free. Huh? No pun intended. Thank you, Frida. You are free. Ma'am, yeah. did you check what um, weapon he's using? Uh, Commander should be using hammer? No, check. I know the general uses hammer. What the hell is a frenzied edge? I don't know. It looks but like uh, an adventurous blade. I know. Uh, adventurous blade is still higher. Okay. Uh, do we still have? Okay, I need to. <laughs> so this is how this is how you're supposed to progress your thrall, not from. Oh my God! I have a T five. I will not take anything lower than a T9. Let's do this. Ah, you're gonna die. Okay. 
Gotta progress. It's the law. Dex agility. Nah. Don't do agility. So if we can get a warlord, the next time we go back to Nikada, if we can see a warlord, that's a win. That's a win. So knowing knowing that their strength attribute is way higher than um the other thralls, then you can you can say, you know, based on the facts that their main attributes are higher in terms of strength. You can definitely say, categorically, in that regard, Kilgorian, which is the same as Van Gul, Thralls, are stronger. But then again, it really depends on your rebirth. <clears throat> if you get lucky, you get 15 in all. 15, 15, 15, plus 15 in all. 15 strength, 15... Armor, 15 HP. Oh my god. That would be a god roll. I will call uh, that a god roll. It's um two vitalities versus one strength. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Do you want two strength, one vitality? I don't know. This is okay for now. I want him tanky also. Because he's wearing a second best armor. They're not wearing the best armor yet. Okay. They will be wearing the best armor. So, I will be wearing the best armor. They will be wearing the best armor. They will be bringing the best trungeon once we hit 120. And that's where that's where you can really start destroying the mobs and dungeons in AOC. There are some low level AOC dungeons that you want to probably do in lower level. But yeah, you can always you can always try and weigh if you can already or not, and then run away if you can. Do it again later when you're a little bit stronger. You know, just experiment. The progression that I'm showing right now doesn't have to be the progression that you should follow, and it's perfect. No, you like everyone has a different style. In terms of you know how they want to fight what type of you know weapon they want to use how they want their thralls to be how they want themselves to be something like that like this is just the ideal way that i was able to find if i want to really get the t9 i progress <clears throat> because it's easier that way the moment that you jump let's say for example earlier it was a t6 I'm supposed to consider T7 so that it will not, you know, be too risky. But I decided, okay, maybe we can try a T8. And look what happened. Look what happened with the damage. So if you are if you are considering to get someone in a camp, and that someone is in the middle of the camp where there are gazillions of T5s around. Then don't. That that, that sh you know that shit should tell you like no, this is not the way. Even with your 120 armor, 120 level, 120 gear, you're still gonna get killed, regardless. If you are in the middle of, for example, you go to the middle of J7, right here. Let's pretend you go to the middle of J7, and then you decided to you know. Um, knock down one of the T6 to T7 spawn point in there, of course you're going to be disappointed because there's a lot of them and you're surrounded. Find a way. If you really want that spawn point, find a way. Maybe you can kill them one by one or three at a time or two at a time. It's really just up to you. BRB have to go treat mom. All right, Ash. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Warfront. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I will name him first. Oh. Frodo. Ma'am, there's a very handsome archer here. And Sam, what the hell? Hold on. Oh, he looks so good. Oh my god. I will just pretend I'm not here. Shut up. And there's a very beautiful dancer too. Okay, that's mine. <laughs> hey, hello. At least I'm fair. <laughs> there we go. Now he's programmed. 
He has a trigon. And he will follow me. Woo! I love progression. That's good. See, we got them big boys. We got a T6, which is huge. And we got a T8. Okay, let's label them so that people will know. This is a T6. This is a T8. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. Bring me. Hello? Here? Warfront. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's a wolf in the house. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> taxiderm. It's not even in the house. I was exaggerating. Yeah. You exaggerate a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're um we still have to figure out because before these archers were not here. They really added like three archers in every area where the officer spawn point. So we have a Capitan. And the Capitan is a T six. No. So this is what we do before. And let's see if it still works now. We cannot claim it. So what I do, I don't shoot that guy. I shoot this guy. We cannot climb anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Espen. <laughs> Time like this, I miss the purple orbs. I know a lot of people miss the purple orbs, Jemnog. <laughs> but at least, uh you know... At least, uh, if you are the type who would um, make something about make something about it, since the purple orb is not available, then that's good. But most people who are purple or uh, purple orb lovers are moping, just complaining, Man? not doing anything about it. Climbable? Yes, it's not climbable, but you can, I think, double jump. Double oh jump. yeah, it's climbable, ma'am. It is climbable. Look. Oh, Espen missed... No, don't show that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> come down, come down. Espen's not gonna like that. I will just tell him maybe. Or no. he, he watches the stream. Okay, so this I is a love. smelter. So maybe we should be in... Trunjan mode? God, this new better thrall thingy is not working for me. I'm sorry. I need to find another... I need to... I need something that I'm able to move while doing the command. Not stop and do the command. That is... This is a very bad area. Oh, maybe he we just... should really make this Maybe he just higher. missed it. Maybe he just missed it. So that's okay. Oh, shit. He, he ducked. A little bit higher. After that, you can just... Drop okay, here. Okay, we definitely got... This guy. Yeah. Trunge in that guy. Okay, good, 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 good. Are you mad, Smelter? Don't go too far, though. Hey! Who pushed me? I did. Oh, can I climb <laughs> I think this shit? I just fell. Okay, the archers did not react, so that's good. Uh, where's the smelter? Did they knock it down? It went back. It went back? What the fuck? He's a coward! <laughs> Not in the water. Stupid, stupid officer. Stupid, stupid shit. So yeah, there we go. Without the purple orb, there's always a way. It's just maybe... Maybe the mistake is diving into a big camp, not knowing, you know, not knowing that some, like all of them will aggro and not really strategizing. The blunt arrow will work. No, they will still aggro. The blunt arrow, remember, the blunt arrow, it causes damage. It's not only pure concussive damage. So as long as it causes damage, it will cause aggro. So they're still going to chase you. And blunt arrows compared to Seth's truncheon. 
it's far. Really far in terms of concussive. So this is a T6. We're keeping this. Or we're gonna use this as a guard. Or can we just let him be here? Can you kill him? Oh, let's kill him. Oh. This is just a T6. Oh, yeah, we have yeah. a lot of T6. Cheese can never be oh beat. Um, I'm not sure uh, when was the last time. When was the last time you played vanilla, Jamnog? Because I have something to tell you that might break your heart. Might. <laughs> oh, the it's answer dead. is hmm. <laughs> if the answer is hmm, it means that's a long time ago. So here's, here's the heartbreaking news. If you climb up somewhere and you cheese using blunt arrows... The Thralls are already programmed to lose aggro and go back to where they are and they regen. It's vanilla though, not AOC. And since it's in vanilla, um, it's applicable in AOC. So yeah, no cheesing still. Do the progression, do the job, do the work. No pain, no gain, as they would say. Okay. Hey, the archers are hating on me. They're they're haters. Because probably you did something. <laughs> no, they still remember that I shot their jeweler. Is it the jeweler or a smelter? Hold on, I think it's a smelter. Exactly just what happened to them. They couldn't reach me because they're here and they lose aggro and they go back and then you know what happens when they go back. So yeah, uh, if ever you need a smelter now, you do the same thing that I did. Position yourself here. The archers will not chase all the time. Sometimes they do. We experience it in this stream that sometimes they do chase. But most likely they will just go back. <laughs> Excuse me. Holds. And then uh, we can, we can, we can get it. We can tame it. I want to try something. Hold on. Uh, sh uh, two headshots. You can take down a T4. If it's if it's not blunt arrows, like regular kill, just a regular, you know, like you want to kill the the T4. Yeah. Two shots with a very good bow is pretty much doable. That's true. All right. So what else is easy? Um, if you will talk about big camps, okay, let's try to qualify why some people would say it's difficult, I will die without the orb, something like that, something, something. Um, can you bring us to, hey, someone's Wait, shooting me. I'm, I'm trying to prove something of them. Who's shooting you? I am shooting him. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really going back. Yeah, they will go back there. Yeah. I'm already on the chasing spot. Like When they <laughs> when they realize they couldn't reach you, they will go back and lose interest and regen. Mm. And thank God. Thank you, devs, for base game. And thank you, AOC, for not changing that. Because, well, I don't like cheesing. Where do you want me to pull you again? Um, hold on. Do you have a direct TP to the Elven area? Elven. The Elven in the Dark Forest. Dark Forest. Where we can get the Highborn. Uh, I can't remember. Is Cheesing is board? okay. I actually, I actually, we, I actually had a very you know, lengthy rant yesterday because of what happened. Um, because someone was being an idiot in the start of the stream, not listening to, not listening to what we're trying to do. That it's a progressive thing, yada yada. Um, but at the end of the stream, I made it very clear that if ever you are a person who doesn't really have the time to play the game, or you have already played the game so many times. And you just want to skip the shebang of, you know, running around and beating them with a beat stick. And you just, Here. you know. Yeah, go ahead. Just pull me. And you just, 
you just want to, you know, you just want to save time because you already know the content anyway, go use the orb. I made it very clear. But for new players, new players who can grind, you're not a 9 to 5 job, right? Then if you have the time, then do the progression. Play the game as it's intended. I made it very clear. But for some reason, you know, some people still misunderstand that. I'm already in favor of both in certain conditions. So for example, okay. For example, if you come here. That's a death wish. Play it slow, I did. I know, if you're if it's your first time. If it's your first time to play, and you have the time to play, you should play it the way it should be played. Because you will never because you will never experience the first time. That's why I really regret that I did not, you know, I did not watch tutorial videos. I thought Conan was just the same as the other games. That I wouldn't really need guides to actually enjoy it. But I was wrong because it's too complicated. Right? So that's why I made a lot of mistakes. Because I was a noob. And of course, even though you're not a noob, you tend to forget stuff. Especially if you haven't played for a while. But that feeling of the very first time you played, the very first time that you hunted for for crocodiles and get nodes for, for iron, it will never be the same the second, the third, the fourth, the, the, the fifth time. It will never be the same. That's why every time someone advocates that it's okay for the purple orb, for any conditions, any conditions, I don't like that. Because you're just being biased because it benefits you alone how about the other players how about the community how about the player base don't you want to give them good experience as well what happened to conan whatever happened to conan when the orb was not yet there we were doing things manually and it was fun. Right? and it was fun like someone even misunderstood me when i said death is fun like really just getting the actual phrase like death is fun because it's part of the fun the figuring out the figuring out process so that you will not die again is part of the fun. That's exactly what it is. I played it slow, then cheese it. There we go. Enjoy the first time. Play it as, as you will the second time, the third time. Okay, for example, uh, where's the... Where's the highborn spawn point? The officer spawn point here, this one. Yeah, but it's not there. Hold on, soldier. Oh, here. Oh, no. Soldier. This one. Here, here, and this one. Ah, here. This is a. Uh, this is an officer spawn point. Where's, uh, there's another one. Ah, there are two. There are like two. Yeah. The last time we played, there were two also. I think there are. Two, Ranger yeah. is a T seven. Capitan is a T six. Now, you. What if you are here, and you decided to get them? You know how painful these are. Do you know the do you know the elven how fast they are? Your thrall's gonna die. Mm -hmm. If I will try this now, even with my T8, someone will die here. Probably me first. Because they move really fast. You know, when they run, they're like the fast zombies. So maybe oh. you can Elves. I haven't I haven't done it I haven't done it yet. But maybe you can, you know, you can probably try here. Shoot, run. Let's see how many will chase. This they is the chase. this is the part of the game <laughs> that you will find fun figuring out. And you know what? If you have the orb, this is what you do if you have the orb, and it's your first time playing. You have the orb, throw. The background music is still the same. There's no tuk, 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 tuk. no throw. 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 Knock down. <laughs> you just got a very high reward out of doing nothing almost with no risk, no challenge, no skill. And it's and your a first. Surplus. And a, a surplus. A surplus of, <laughs> you know, like, and, and it's, you already have, like, workers. And it's your first time playing. And you will have workers. 
You can grab a carpenter, yeah. throw. You're just like shopping. <laughs> hey, I, j I click on the carpenter. Holy shit. Uh oh. Boys, why are your no, truncheons man. out? I, I almost I almost did it. Sheesh. The other one is out. Shit, I thought the other one's going back. No, man, you're going back! What are you doing? I'm gonna scream at you. I'm gonna scream at you. I think AOC players should play vanilla. Oh my god, 1000%, Jamnog. 1000%. You need to play vanilla first. It is not a requirement. Can you bring us to um, Irinaya's camp us in F F3? I I think exactly the same. You sh um, it's not a must, but I recommend you play vanilla first. It's really fun if you know vanilla. Because it's a fun game. Aside from the bugs. Just ignore the bugs though. You will have a very good tolerance for bugs after you play vanilla. Especially if you're playing solo co-op. I can't imagine people starting from AOC. That's the problem. Um, I know you have missed some of our uh, streams. And that is usually the problem that I'm seeing, Jamnog. They keep complaining. They keep whining. And they... Because the, the purple orb was, you know... The purple orb was disabled. And they keep whining about it. For some reason, they whine at me. They should whine in the Discord, I'm telling you honestly. The only thing I can do is tell Aspen, but personally, I don't like the, the orb also, so there's really nothing I can do. I am in favor of disabling the orb. So even though I will tell Aspen, I would still tell Asp I would probably still prefer tell Aspen. No, I prefer not to have that activated. Um, so that's why, because they don't even know, they don't even know how to progress the vanilla and they're expecting to successfully do AOC without proper progression. It causes them frustration and that's why they want an easy way out. That's what I'm seeing though. That's what I'm seeing. That's the problem. Now, let's pretend that you came here. You go like, oh, I want Cold Embrace. Okay, that's fine. Cold Embrace are strong, especially the dancers. Before, I think Espen said... It's no longer the same as now. But you can get a master here. Oh my god. Two commanders. The commanders in Cold Embrace, I think, are T7. They're not T8s. I forgot their T8 name. But their T9 is master. I think they have a high commander. Oh no. High commander is Van Gogh. I forgot their 6-4. Yeah, 6-4 is a T7. The dancers used to be a bit weak. Yes, in terms of HP. But they have really high damage multiplier. That's why they were before. called... They were glass called cannon. glass cannons. That was before, though. But now, as Ben said, no, they, they're just the same as the other tier. So, for example... Okay, let's continue. For example, you came here and you want to get one of these two. Or you want to get the awesome sorceress. I don't even know if the sorcerers can be tamed. I haven't tried. I wouldn't start now. Why? This is a bad idea here. For example, the reason why we come here is not because of the officers. Us, tell them why we come here. <laughs> we even have a video how to do it. See ya? What was that? <laughs> Lucia? We come here for Lucia Rose. So Lucia Rose spawns in one of the Sanguis Scouts. Sometimes yeah, two. Yeah, but she's not here. <laughs> there was a time that there were even two. All right. But she's not here right now. I had three running knockdown. <laughs> there we go. The ultimate armorer, correct. It adds 100% to your armor. So if your armor has, you know, let's say 100 armor, she will make it 200 armor value. So that's why she's important. Now the thing that we do is that we don't we don't stay in the middle and fight them and try to knock down Lucia. That's idiotic. We pull them. This is what we did. And again, this is under 
the impression that they didn't change anything from the last patch, this is what we did. And I hope Espen will not see this because I bet he's going to change it. We start from here. Do you know why? When we shoot, when we shoot one of the soldiers from here, from this location right here. If I shoot one of the soldiers, the scouts don't get involved. Only the soldiers come here. So what we do, we kill them all. If you have if you have someone with you, especially Oz, who's really strong with magic, you can, you know, you can annihilate them. Kill them all. That's why it's more fun when you have someone with you. Playing solo is risky and lonely at the same time. Now, once you're already done, again, this is under the impression because I will not try it today. These might die. I will probably wait until I get a T9 before I do that. That's under the impression that they did not change it from the last time we did a playthrough. That was last July. I think when we did this around August. But if they changed it, we might get a different reaction if I shoot now. The whole, the whole, you know, the whole camp might come down raining at us. And then for, for the scouts, this is where we go to fight the scouts. So what we do, we shoot one of the scouts from here and then they will run after us and then only very few actually chase until here very few maybe uh around three or four will chase us after we shoot them here we kill them but it will be less it will be less the moment you go back now there will be lesser run again and then fight whatever is left. It'll work, but it works. It takes time, but it works. It's not cheesing because you're fighting and you're taking the risk. There's still a possibility you're gonna die. Remember, you're the one who took the shot. Right? You're the one who took the shot. So they run really fast. They will come after you, not your thralls. It's a real crap shoot. August, yeah, I think the last episode that we did was August. So around July to August, we did a playthrough, and we uh, we wanted to get Lucia. I'm not even sure if we were successful doing it. Dane was with us, I think, that time. Oz cousin. So yeah. So yeah, I I think I don't know. I, like the problem is like uh, okay I will try to remember uh, what that person said the problem is that the the camps have 10 to 20 t5s how are you gonna deal with that well I've been to different camps now and the answer is this is how you deal with it you just have to progress you just have to trust the process uh find a way you have to be a badass exactly you have to be godlike if you really want if you just really want to stay in the middle of the camp and ex uh, expect to stay alive even though you're level 120 you're still gonna die you need to be a badass you need to be a god but if you want to play it smart find a strategy you know you need to be a strategist and that's what makes the progression fun now if i want to get a t9 i will just do what i did if i want to get a t9 I will go back here, make sure, make sure that I don't, you know, take the whole aggro. I will go back to Nikada, right here, NPC of Nikada in Aloran, and I will also go back to the Warfront. Two spawn points, two spawn points, one spawn point. Progress. Hence the title of our stream. Progress. I tend totally to uh, abuse the... 
warping going home is already okay, Jamnog. If you're someone who already played the game for quite a while, and you have already explored riding your horse, riding your Tesla all over the map, you yeah. have you have all the reasons to TP, and that's fine. So that's why it's really different when you are a noob. Especially if you are recommending this game to a noob. Just like what I did with my friends when they started playing this. I really told them, no warping, no teleporting. No admin spawns for you, no creativity mode for you. You have to grind everything because that was the most fun hundreds of hours of my life when we decided to go vanilla in official servers. The only thing that I didn't like was there were cheaters. They have a specific cheat that will, you know, able will, will enable them to steal your thralls. So, yeah. That was a bummer. That's and then that was really a bummer. I don't understand how they're able to do that in official server. There's anti cheat in there supposedly, right? But no, they. Can you imagine if you're in an official server creating a a Godbreaker armor, putting it in your Spinus the Marauder, or putting it in putting it in your um, Delincia? That's not easy for those who understand vanilla, like vanilla vanilla. The, the, the T4s that I mentioned are not constant spawn. They're chances. And then, uh, Godbreaker armor is so hard to grind because you need to you need to go back and forth the Warmaker Sanctuary. And since it's an official server, you may have a competition going in. And you need to wait until they respawn again. Right? And the next day that you log in, you realize that that specific Thrall... A very unique Thrall who's wearing the Godbreaker armor that you grind is no longer there. Did I miss anything? No, we're not we're not cheesing this place, Ash. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> die here if ever. No one died though, yeah. They don't put us too much effort into PvE things, and thralls are considered an accessories. Oh my god. That's why that's why every time you go to an official server, it's almost empty, huh? It's almost empty. Or sometimes it is empty. That's kind of sad. That's why. That's why I want to help the player base of this game. And I can do that in my simple ways. How? Teach them the right way to play the game. I don't want to sound like a negative player. No, no, no. Factual, factual criticism is good. Even though it's negative. As long as it's true... Even though it's negative, it is good. Because the moment that you stop criticizing the game on what's really happening that needs to be changed, it means you did not or do not care about the game anymore. And that's and the when game will die. that's when the game dies. Because you stop giving a fuck. So it's okay. Me, I always say this is bad, you have to change this. Even in AOC. More on vanilla because vanilla is problematic. The good thing about AOC, the good game. thing about AOC is that it's such a beautiful game. Exactly. The good thing about AOC is that I can send a spent message directly. For for vanilla, hmm, who cares if someone will send them, you know, a message directly? It's not the developer's choice. This company is controlled by Tencent, and Tencent is monetizing company. We all know that. Because the game is viewed as one game for one perspective, but it's more than that. True. This game is beautiful if it will be... That's why it will... If it will be developed well. That's why I've been hoping for two things. One, I hope that Funcom will be bought by another company and that time they will care about... You know, I, I, at least they will stay... They will still make money, but they care about the development of the game. That's one. The second thing that I'm hoping for is... After the Age of War Final Chapter 3, please stop making ages for now and fix whatever needs to be fixed, especially the ones impacting the solo co-op. Why? Not everyone can, can afford a server for this game. Not everyone. Not everyone has an extra computer to make as a server for this game. So what about the, you know, what about the ones who want to play solo co-op? 
we are already eliminating them from the, the player base because even though they want to play the game, they can't play the game. It's unplayable. Trust me. As long as it's in solo co-op, even though in vanilla, it's not playable. It's almost not playable when you have mods. So how can a new player enjoy this game? Please fix it. F fix it first. And then maybe you can talk about adding more later. The money guys may leave it and my fans may take over. Yeah, it's a bad thing. All right, and another camp will be the Cold Embrace. If you are planning to tame Thralls in the Cold Embrace main faction in the unnamed city, you're out of your mind. The only probably reason why you will go there is to get Eliza Cole, and I will not advise that you're not yet more than 120. Or at least 120. You need to be 120 in terms of level, gears, and whatever in order for you to go there and not have a very high risk of dying. So why would you go there? Maybe if you went there level 40, holy shit, oh, you will be one hit. Nikada, J7. No, please don't. All right, please don't. So the next week's load of numbers. Oh, you have a load of number? Give me. Is this a guaranteed win? Is this a guaranteed <laughs> win between 1 and 50? What uh, the I wish fuck, we Jamnog? could win so that we will have our own Hey, house the the super the super lot. the super loto <laughs> in US is crazy, man. But I have a question, Ash. I have a question. Do you think that the lo uh, the, the super loto winners in in the US do you think it's rigged or is it legit? I can look them up. Please give me loto numbers, please. Even though you're not, <laughs> even though you're not a U.S. citizen. Second question: Even though you're not a U.S. citizen, can you buy the lottery in the U.S.? Sometimes, you know, random random people win. Oh, it is really true. It's not. It's not rigged. God damn. There we go. Jongi already made the statement I was about to say. Yeah, in our country, we uh, we it's it's it feels fishy. It smells fishy when someone wins the super lotto here. You can? Oh, even though you're not a US citizen? Oh, that is cool. Yeah, they would the prizes are really crazy. Hundreds of hundreds of millions. Hundred hundred million. Like hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Well, I know he's I, asking for play. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe Gemnog knows some numbers. Leakage. <laughs> Um, us. What? Can you TPS to Nikada? I have a feeling Nikada Which has a Nikada? T9. Ah, the, the Nikada, Nikada. I cannot claim, so they let me pay. No, the, the NPC Nikada, the one that we went to earlier. Ah, uh, okay. Not the Nikada J7. What the fudge? <laughs> Are you one of those people, us? Don't be that person. <laughs> Thirty-five is one number. That's the one, Jamnog. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> oh, he's searching. He's searching for leakage. But for some reason, I don't know. It seems like, it seems like there is a curse in winning the lottery. Nah, ma'am. It's still a commander. It's a commander in a captain. Okay. How about the M8? Uh, please be in cloak mode. Because I want to test the aggro in that place also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cloaking. We'll give you the other six, but the price goes up per number. <laughs> uh, Jamnog. <laughs> Are you drinking again? <laughs> it's bizarre to me that that works. <laughs> uh, I like crazy talks like this, to be honest. It's light. I, I enjoy this type of talks more than, you know, something else. Because if it's about learning the game, 
we can always learn the game together and have fun. So that's why I really just like goofing around. Yes, I am drinking. There we go! <laughs> Jamnog! Bye! Come by, Jamnog! We need tuba. What the hell? <laughs> we need tuba! They don't know what Felizardo, tuba is. Felizardo, <laughs> you just got an update from League next season. You, Baron, Harold, look, oh. and other jungle. Oh. Whoa! Someone's yeah, throwing gifted subs again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Down the hatch. There we go. Jamnog doing it again. Who do we have? Eh? I don't think that's... Ooh, it hasn't spawned yet, us. You know what that means? There's a possibility. Hold on. Do not aggro anyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna I'm go, in I'm gonna go mode. bathroom. I'm gonna go bathroom. I'm in cloak mode. Poor birdie. They all dead. All right, I'm back. So the reason why I'm happy that remember, remember that this we, we came here first before Tunicada. Am I right? Am I right, Oz? Mm. We came here first before Nikada. And this one hasn't spawned yet. The reason why I'm happy is because the higher the tier, the longer they spawn. So if this hasn't spawned yet, there is a possibility that we might get a T8 or T9 from here. Mukada? Muk Who the heck is Mukada, Jamnog? I think that's our neighbor. Mukada. <laughs> oh, us? You need to practice league. How's your practice? How's the... How's the... Ah. How's the, you know... How's the, the Nami practice? Oh... I was saying what you said. Nikada, not Mukada. <laughs> I think Mukada is, uh, sounds like a gangster from Japan. <laughs> sounds like a gangster from Japan, Jamnog. Mukada. Kima Mukada. There we go. You just gave it a first name. I want to experiment something. So earlier, we attacked the dog. Everyone aggroed. Let's see if we attack a human. Circle of life. Hakuna Matata? <laughs> so the dogs are not here. Uh, the dog already killed the shoe bill. Yeah, the shoe bill... Could have oh no it already spawned 
Eh! Pizza Capitan. It's a Capitan. It's a Capitan. Do you want me to kill it? Uh, Control Shift. Control Shift Delete. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. Dead. What a wonderful place. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me test a theory. Oh, shit. Why are you so lyric coded? Me? What is ly uh, lyric coded means? Uh, perfect in lyrics or not perfect in lyrics? <laughs> That's really odd, Oz. See this? If I attack a human, not the dog, not everyone aggros. When I attacked the dogs earlier, everyone aggroed. Yep. See what I mean? Yep. You keep dropping song lyrics. I am, uh, I am here, so here for it. Ah! Oh yeah, this you know, it's my jam. I like singing randomly, but don't take me for my lyrics. Sometimes I make up my own lyrics. <laughs> I make them up and make it sound like one of the songs. Just like Hakuna Matata, sometimes I say Hakuna Matidis. Hakuna Matidis. Yeah. Okay. Let's try attacking the dog again. If it's me, then I have a whole different thing. What the hell, jump no what, what do you have in mind? Okay, what are you using? You should be using a sword. Posted another song in Discord. Oh no, another K-pop. Okay, I'm I'm all for it, Ash. Us, look. What? The moment the dog was damaged, everyone aggroed. See, I told you something is up with the dogs. It may not be a scout, but there's something in it that makes the whole camp aggro. Now everyone's after me because I, I damaged the dog. Okay, ch um, viewers, do not attack the dog. <laughs> <laughs> they, everyone in the whole camp will aggro if you attack the dog. Yeah, they will actually switch target if you attack yeah. the dog. Look. What the heck? This is what I'm talking about. But it's sometimes there's some miscommunication. There's something with the dogs. They may not be the same as J7, and probably they also made changes um, over time. But there's something with the dogs that makes the whole the whole place aggro at the same time. So if you can avoid the dogs, avoid the dogs. Because they're not scouts anyway. The moment that I damage the dog in my AoE, the, the one standing there, automatically aggroed. No, they did not switch target. It was just my... Imagination. Theory. <laughs> but I was observing the the crafter thrall because the, the crafter thrall was far and yeah when I attacked the dog she aggroed they need to buff the animals true um I think I'm okay with the damage that the animals actually um deal I think what I'm asking for the pets is their HP you know, sustainability. These are the dogs that I was talking about, chat. As much as possible, don't damage them. For some reason, they may not be scouts. Unlike J7. However, the the NPC seems to be uh, protective of them. Oh my god, it's raining again. I was about to go out. <sighs> I thought the typhoon is over. 
Okay, us. Bring us to the deadliest cold embrace camp. Sanchez province. Yes, thank you. I really, I really wanna wanna make the viewers understand why some people, you know, really get emotionally damaged when the purple orb was removed from the equation. I will show you how difficult the camps are, and you're basically not choosing the right camps. That's the only thing that I can say. You're not in the right level. You don't have the right gear. You don't have the right weapon. Is it Sandswip or yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sandswip, Sandswip. And uh, you are picking the wrong camps. If you are also, if you are also in the right camp you might be positioning yourself incorrectly. Those are the possibilities why those people get frustrated. I used to take them with purple orb. That's okay. I will probably, if I if I have to just enjoy, I will probably do it because I can get them legit. So, you know, I don't need to prove a, prove a point anymore. Probably just chill, you know, one beer on my, one beer on my, uh, you know, on my left hand and then right, Hands just keeping, you know, throwing the orbs. Click, 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 click. Something like that. Because you're like a retiree, you know? You're a retiree, you have nothing to prove. Oh, let me show you in the map. I am in the sunswept ruins. So, the deadliest... Cold Embrace is um, in Unnamed City. I misspoke. But this is deadly also here. It's also deadly. Yeah. But it, it's, this is not the deadliest. Though. Sorry, I misspoke. The deadliest outside, there we go, of Unnamed City. Oh, Commander. And there's always a T9 here. So it's like this. Um, <laughs> the Commander... This is an officer spawn point, so it could be T6, 7, 8, or 9. You have a crafter. That's painful. And the bad thing about this place is that... Hey. There's always a T9 here, but it's not tameable. Wait, ma'am. I think they might have changed it. Why? Look at the HP. Oh, you are right. I'm okay with that. I think it's no longer a T9. They they made it equivalent to a T5. 5-6. Five, five, yeah. Am I right? 5-6. Oh no, a little bit higher. Five, uh, T5 is a 5-2. Hold on. The crafter has been said. Crafters has been said. Now are T5s. Yeah, 5-2. But this one is 5-6. Five, 5-2, five, 5-6. So... It's not a T6 also, I believe. I'm not sure. So it's just East Carrier. <laughs> it's an NPC. It's it's just an NPC. That's a low HP, but, yeah. Because this yeah. this guy is supposed to be T9. This I guy think, is the same yeah. as a master before. But they and made it lower, think I think. Yeah. yeah. Again, there are a lot of people complaining. How difficult it gets. Mm -hmm. So I understand. This is okay. This is uh, this will not impact your gameplay experience in any way. They changed few T9s to untamable. True. Vorlina, Melandra, Melandra, Vorlina, <laughs> Merlandra. <laughs> we just know <laughs> Vorlina, one. Melandra because we those are the only no, ones we farm. That one. East and courier, uh, east yeah. and west courier. I don't like the master anymore because it has low attributes. It's Van Gogh still wins. It's oh, part no. of the journey to work the ladder. Soldier 5-2. Hey, is the dude still here? Mm -hmm. The dramatic the dude, Petroso. <laughs> I think he... Hey, look at the name. He needs to be there. The Sandstorm Maniac. Is it? Has it been like that? I don't, I don't think know. it's the Sandstorm I Maniac. Think it's, it's different before, I think. <laughs> He's called I the Sandstorm know. Maniac. I forgot. Now, what the fuck? Vanilla? 
Funcom? Why is he a maniac? What the heck? Okay, did I miss any major camp? We went to... Ah! Kilgorian. The Kilgorian Kilgorion is the... Kilgorian village. Yeah, it's where the, the, the lake is nearby. I can... Yeah, I'll pull you there, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, yeah. T-10,000 Scourge Monster comes out to ruin things. Well, yeah, <laughs> the Scourge, the Scourge bosses will definitely, uh, ruin your game, especially if your Thralls die of Ilarican Plague. There's a blacksmith here. So, there is a single officer, you know, spawn point here. This is just the same as the Van Ghoul. So, if you get a Kil Kilgorian, um, they're basically like a mutated version of the Van Ghouls. Created by Elvin, am I right? No, I think it's the Kilgorian and the Van Ghouls are the enhanced one. Kilgorian and the Van Ghouls are the mutated slash enhanced version of the El the Elven Covenant. The mm. hybrids, well, they are hybrids. They're, They're hybrids. Okay. hybrids. Yeah. So orcs and elves made a baby? No. <laughs> it's the Strife and Chica Chica something. Chica. I forgot. The Chicas. It I, I forgot the other <laughs> name of the elf. Well, yeah, tribe. but uh, basically they are created by the elves, the Elven Covenant. That's it. That's to simplify it. But their main ancestor with the Elven, co the elves or the Elven are just the same. Now, if you will try to get this one here with crafters, that's a T5. That's a T5. One, two, three, four. Five, kind of. six. Why? Uh, so I you know will be born. you will be fighting six, including this seven. You will be fighting seven NPCs. Now tell me, is it smart to get this one versus the ones that you can get in M eight and also in Nikada? You have to ask yourself. Right? You have to ask yourself. This is this is the the mistakes that new players make. And since no one is there to help them with the proper progression, they will resort to cheesing and being a fan Bad to boy. purple orbs. Bad boy. Bad boy. Right? So that's what, what that's why we're doing this type of streaming. Or this, this type of stream because we want to give you a guide and also to prove that it's doable without the purple orb. And so far, is it doable? What do you think, Oz? We were able to do it. Yes. We're not yet level 120. We don't have the, 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 the most, you know, the most awesome gear yet. And it, we have already gotten a T8. So if we will just keep doing what we were doing earlier, less likely you will lose Thralls because you have... Well, a T8 is not easy to kill. That's one. And while you're doing all this stuff, you might end up being 120 already and you can already craft the best armor from Stormhold. Craft the best Trungeon. And craft everything that is you're already like a maxed out level for 120 hell i think some people are even doing this beyond 120 because they have paragon leveling and yet they're still complaining that they're not able to do it why because they are in a situation that even though the place is surrounded they will try to get an officer thrall no 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 um oh yeah us can what? you TP us to the uh, <clears throat> Super Maru near the 
near the boss rhino because there's one more camp there for Stormhold. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> How many T8s as backup to get my T9s? Well, you need to get as many as you can. That's 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 a thing. I had max of 30. 30 in level? Oh, that's that's good. They will become very strong with that. Okay, so here we have one officer spawn point. Oh, officer! T7! Hello, officer. Oh, so handsome. So handsome. And he... Oh, Blade of the Adventurer. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Max was 20. Hold on. I had max of 30. And I had worked my way through 30 T8s. 30 T8s? Like, you have 30 T8s? Holy shit. How did you get them? Did I understand it right? 30 T8s? <gasps> what the fuck? I had a lot of time. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And a carpenter. Usually it's a dancer here. I don't know what happened. Hold on. Did we miss any camp? Help me out, Oz. Did we miss any camp? Wait, hold on. I am thinking... We're talking about just, you know, fighters, okay? So don't bring me to Elvenor or Felgarth. Just a fighter. Oh, I'm mm. thinking... Aren't there any, like, elven camps, um, like, in the jungle part? When you go to the unnamed city from the top of the dregs, Yeah, we already went there. Here. Warfront. This is, uh, that's where we got our T8. Oh, jungle. The jungle. Like, um, uh, somewhere in M... M or N4? Or... Nah. Probably. Uh, those L6? Are, no, they're, they're just T5s. Okay. Well, I don't have any more. I... I can think of one. Um, I don't know if you... Probably. What? I can think of one. It's Elvin. Where? G10. G10. And then... Uh, top... Top left. Mm. You will see... You see uh, Miming's ear? Going sideways? G10. Just TP Miming. us to the... Just TP us to G10 upper left. Wait, hold on. Second, just G. It's in the lake where the. It's in the lake where the aqueduct came, uh, comes from. Okay. Hold on. Go in there. From that spot, I think you can already see them. It was a daily thing for me before work, after every day. <laughs> Yeah, see, as you can see, if you have all the time, you wouldn't complain about, you know, getting this stuff. Just TP me, us. I know where they are. Just TP me. Okay, so you're a little far. It's it's so hard to explain earlier where exactly it was. But if you can just pull me, I will find them. I miss those days. It was strange and kind of fun. True, that's why. I want to share that. I want to share that experience and... I cannot share that when people keep saying that purple orb is a must. So Here. I hope that people understand where I'm coming from. Most of the time, the ones who are fans of purple orbs are actually the ones who don't know how fun it is to grind this stuff. There. So we have some archers. We have a fighter. Shadirian. There's more here. And then we have a crafter here. Someone is walking around. Blacksmith! Yeah. Yeah, there's more here. Uh, a crafter thrall. 
he's not supposed to be walking around. He's supposed to be like standing right next to. Oh no! They added this one. Look, there's another worker, carpenter. Yeah. So that one is an addition. Mm -hmm. And then we have here one spot. So you can probably get a highborn here. Mm. Because this is a a T seven, a T six to T nine. How about Malagan? Oh, there's one there also. I love yeah. it. I can tell you how I believe I was when I uh, when purple orbs came in. True. For again, I may I may sound like a broken CD, but if you have already played the game and proven yourself, use all the pur uh, the purple orbs as you can. I'm never against that. You had your fun. So right next to Malagan, right next, right here. There we go. One spawn. Um, I do not advise this location. Yep. Unless there's a lot of you. You will die. You will die here. This this is the type of location that people probably choose because they don't, they don't have any other options, and. They get frustrated. And there are storm holes here too, and a possible T9. Um <laughs> the what do you call that? The animal thingy? Yeah. The animal thingy? This guy? Mm. Yep. McWillan, what up? Taskmaster. And we have a Capitan. Oh, by the way, I was remarkably sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, by the way, thank you for bringing me here, Oz, because this is where I get my Scourge Hounds. Of course, we have to kill the monkeys. Yep. I will show you guys how to get the head of a Scourge Hound easy. You don't even have to fight. Hold on. I have to leave my thralls or else <laughs> it will be dangerous. Do you have a cleaver, Us? I just want to use it as an example. Uh, wait, hold on. So that's a Capitan. We don't need that. So it's okay to die. So we're going to do the funny thing I always do. Um, I advise that you lay down your bed here and leave your thrall, your your mount. I feel like it's all it's all not sneaky enough. God well, with the ever changing aggro radius, sometimes I don't even understand why they can detect you, but they do sometimes, even though you're way outside of their aggro radius, or even though you're sneaking, like you know. The actual sneak. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna Where have. Where are you? Uh, I'm here at the end. Right here. Oh. Where we usually leave our you know routes and pets. There seems to be a level thing. I'm not quite sure. Unlike Valheim, in Valheim there is like a sneak level. Remember. But Oi, I dropped the cleaver. You were asking for a cleaver and you're running away. I still have to get the dogs. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> really the the top cleaver of the vanilla game. <laughs> if you are high enough, it's like they never look up. Oh, you mean when you are high, like horizontally. Maybe. What the hell? I thought this thing's alive. <laughs> hey, us, ready to run, okay? Do not get caught by the. Oh! It cripples yeah. you. So I'm just gonna. I hope I can bring the two boys. I, I am not helping you, okay? Am I helping no, you? No, I'm not even fighting. What the hell? 
to stay. I'm on cloak mode. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, oh, we're too slow. Uh -oh. See, it did the oh. I need to make sure. Oh no! I'm still here. I'm still here. Do not go back. Stupid dogs. Nah, I ran too fast. Not go that far. No, I ran too fast. Or if they fix the, you know, the aggro thingy, then yeah, we're fucked. We have to fight them. Mano, a mano, imano. There's supposed to be three. Ah, yeah, there's the other one. But the other one is bugged, I think. It was like he's he's trapped in. I'm gonna die. Oops. He's trapped in the the roots. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, they, they fixed it. it they, fi they fixed it. They fixed it. So, whatever we have been doing before, it's not doable anymore. I don't know if I will be sad or angry, but yeah. I should be I should be fair. You know, I should not I should not be against something just because it didn't favor me. I should be, you know, favorable in all fronts. So, if cheesing does not work in all in all fronts, that's okay. So we have to change our strategy here. Maybe we really have to fight them. Remember before that we used to sacrifice... Um, we need to sacrifice the T5s? Yeah. I have to scoot, but I have a great weekend. But you have a great weekend. Thank you, Jamnog! <laughs> Good night. Being Jamnog means being adaptable. Ah. Yeah, that's why I love this guy. Ah, uh, I wish. That's the talk I can always get. <laughs> hey, that's cheesing! I told you we should... Ah, uh, stop I'm doing looking... that! I'm looking for a way. That's cheesing, no cheesing. You know my rules about cheesing. That's... that's z We keep on complaining about people enjoying zero risk with high rewards. You're doing that. But... You're doing it's but. not... It's not like no risk at we all. We will sacrifice the T5s. We have a lot of T5s at home. Because I could die. I could die from the plane. No, hold on. Remember what we've been doing before? Why we get the T5s? Mm -hmm. They're dog bait. I do. Shit, the monkey's here. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe in um in a proper, you know, in a proper playthrough. We will bring the T5s, maybe some T4, if you want to sacrifice your T4 because you're heartless. Mm. But trust me, the T4s probably have been with you longer than the T5 because you're just using the T5 to get a T6. But T4, you have been with your T4 during the vanilla run. Especially if you get them like around level 10 because you got Set's Trungeon. It's crazy! Set's Trungeon is already a constant drop and you can go there, kill Set. If you get lucky, you kill set and you're 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 still level eleven or ten. That's a big win. Knock down two two lians will be really fast. How many hits? Fifteen hits. And Oz doesn't have a strength damage. What are you doing? Hey, you're in cloak mode. I'm not. I'm not in cloak mode. Hold on, let me shoot. But it. I'm in god mode. <laughs> Let's see if if it. Oh, stop, stop. Let me see if I can kill it with my bow. I may have... I may... Ah! Ah! The monkey! The monkey! Distract it! Monkey bull! No! Oh, the monkey dude that was my friend! Huh? The monkey doo doo was my friend! <laughs> I'm one hit, I'm one hit! I think it's going to help you. I think it's going to attack you ah! instead. What are you talking about? That's why I killed it. Ah! Oh, I killed it! <gasps> oh my god! Uh, so yeah. If you are agile enough, you can use the... You can use a bow. Um, so, is my bow OP? No. This is something I got from, whatchamacallit, from the box. 
And this is something I got from the Cimmerian village. So these are legit. <laughs> you can get this in the game. Of course, this is not. This is OP. You know, the dome. You don't have a dome yet. When you are at this stage right here. Oh my god! Okay, we don't have to sacrifice the T fives. <laughs> I will do it again. We should do it. We should do it again. I'm. I will not be in God. Yeah, and then don't. No, don't help me. What the? Again, you know, for the solo people, you know. I will just. I will just pull it. Ah, she wants to join the game. Ah, she's jealous. I'm having fun and she's not. Ah. <gasps> Okay. I will you, just I will just watch my Chinese drama. You pull you it and then it. I will I will I will kill it for you. So I don't even have agility. Can you imagine if I have agility? Oh shit, it's coming. Hold on. Where is it? And I'm only using like a vanilla legendary dagger. Oh shit. Oh ow, ow, ow! Yeah, I told you. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That's a word. There is a point in time that it's stuck in like a stance. And that's the time that you don't want to attack yet. Like that. Do not attack. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting dizzy. There. I made a boo-boo almost. Yeah, like that. It's like uh, it's whining to attack. Ah! I hate you. You're cheating. Son of a bitch. Oh no. It's okay. We're gonna be fine. Oh my god. I'm having Icarus vibes. Why? Why am I having Icarus vibes, Us? Can you help me? Oh. This reminds me of the polar bear. <laughs> that killed me 20 times. <laughs> That's why. That, that killed us many times. I died more. I'm always the tank. Ah! No! I made a boo-boo! I made a boo-boo. I made a boo-boo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's going to die. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I'm one shit. hit. I'm one hit. I'm one hit. And he's one hit. Ah! Am I going to die? You're going to die. You're bleeding. I'm out of arrows. That's why. Holy shit. I have no ammo. I have no ammo. That is unfair. What do you want me to do? Kill do you it. want me to kill it? Kill it. It's one hit. Uh... Oh no, he's going back! Don't go! Oh no. It, uh, it went back. Oh fuck everything that I work for. Pull me. I hate you, Oz. <laughs> Why do you <sighs> want me to pull you? You already oh, have your bedroll there. What arrows what? Were, was I using that time? Harden? Harden steel arrow, I think? So if I have <laughs> a better arrow, let's say... Razor? Is there a razor arrow? Do I remember it right? I think there is. Yeah, if I use a razor arrow or any arrow better than that, obsidian arrow is better than that. So if I use an obsidian arrow, that's vanilla. I'm not going to use AOC even. Yeah, it's doable. You're just going to get dizzy though. <laughs> Shit! I ran out! It was one shot, Oz. Holy crap. He, it would have died before I'm me. I'm giving you 100. No, nah, that's okay. I don't want to do it anymore. I know it's Whatever. doable. Oh. One what? more thing. The, uh, the 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 bow I'm using. What's the best bow at this level from I, I don't know. From the Elvin. Hold on, let me check. 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 <laughs> let me check chat. While I'm chat, while I'm checking this for those who are watching me in Twitch, if you haven't um, followed yet please follow that's for free if you like the content for those who are watching in youtube please um like uh you can also subscribe if you want to receive notification so yeah that that would be a, a shameless plug because i'm still navigating 
looking for uh let's go with factions um the highborns still have the best bow shadirians have the best um katana so here let me go let me go the silver coven oh, is where 80. the highborns are from there's a phoenix bow so this is the one that i'm using now? yeah that's level 80 but if you go 120 then no it's still no level 80 us so where did I? Yeah. Why? Why did I get this? I got this I from. Know. I got this from a drop. Which drop? A person. I don't know what you're talking about. Which person? Uh, for example, if I kill um uh, an NPC, AOC NPC. If I kill, oh uh, no! I think I even got this from Cimmerian. You know when we murdered people yesterday. I don't know. This is Phoenix Bow. Why do I have this? What the fuck? I don't know. I will review yeah. the video yesterday why this thing was given to me and who gave it to me. So this is the best. Okay. Um, how about arrows? The arrow here says... Ah, Crescent Arrow. It's level 80 unlocked. Can you show me a, a Crescent Arrow? Let's see. It's 25 health damage. Ooh. Ooh. Gimme, gimme. Show me. Oh, God. It's uh, also from the Elven, uh, the Silver Coven, right? From the Silver Coven? Yeah. Grr. Eh. Why grr, Ash? <laughs> Ash there. is growling. Grr. Let me drink water. People are annoying. <laughs> I feel you, sister. I have to develop, you know, a certain level of what do you call this? Tolerance. To tolerance for that because there's a lot. The, the world is getting dumber. Getting dumber by the second. All right, let's use this. No matter how well you position yourself or whatever, like you know, whatever you do at the best, um, like at the best of your ability to explain what you're trying to explain. When people are just trying to argue for the sake of argument and not really trying to understand what you're saying, it's endless. It will be a loop. So yeah, I understand totally. Hey, the spawn, the respawn is quite fast for these, you know, puppies. Didn't you tweak it? No, they're back to 15 minutes. Multiplier. Oh my god, why are they, why do they want me? Ah, cheating! One, one of you should go home. One of you should go home. Hey. Yeah. There we go. Not both of you! Shit, they want to fight. All together. One is with us. Free to kill this guy. Okay, time to get dizzy. The moment that it does that, it's your perfect chance to kill it. Oh, I'm so happy. One of the best things that the vanilla, you know, game did is to have the, you know, stamina region really fast. Hey, why? Why? I still have one with me out. Hold on, my mine went home. Hey! Oh, it's it already won. a lost cost, ma'am. Just take whatever is here. Okay, how about this one? 
Okay, you're mine. Guess it had already regen its HP. So what's the point? Just take what's, you know. Well, that one was already less than half. But it will regen. So but it, it was less matter. than half. Shut up. <laughs> See, see, see how you, you know, argue with someone for the sake of argument. Thank goodness. But it was less than half. I hate this guy. Uh, trust me, chat. My damage can still be higher than this if I have agility, which I don't because I have to budget my, <laughs> my points. Budget savers meal? <laughs> don't. Don't argue with us. You guys are always on the same side. I hate you. You... I hate you, Ash. I hate you. Hate you both. No meal for us later. No, I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> Don't argue with us. She wins today. When did I ever win? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Too... No, you win all the time, man. I no, I wanna win. It's just I'm still too polite. You win polite. all the time. Shit. Wanna be? I wanna be ruder. <laughs> I just I'm a good boy. There. We got them legit without sacrificing T5. We got two heads. <gasps> Shit. What is that? What the fuck? How many arrows do you have now? Mem is just louder or loader. What do you mean? How what many do you arrows mean, do you have Ash? now? How many did I consume? A lot. I consume like 26. Oh no, sorry. Aww. 36. 36 my, arrows? My, I, I missed something though. My arrows are not sticking. Louder. I'm not gonna talk from now on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he okay, is so, definitely loud. <laughs> let's see. Um, so what level can you already make your hound? Let's let's uh, let's search. Hound. Poor doggy. Poor doggy. They will be useful. Level sixty-five. Level sixty-five. The moment that you're already out of vanilla, you can get it. So around level forty. So yesterday we proved that around level forty you can already get a T five. Or maybe earlier than that, depending on how crazy you grind. And then once you already have some T fives, you should be fine. You can you know it can help you get these boys. But it's dangerous because the moment that you kill them, um they they have Ilarican plague and T fives will die easily. However, if you're willing to sacrifice them in exchange, okay, in exchange of a Scourge Hound, you need to go to, you know, the Frost Temple for this. But you can already do it level 65. Uh, let me remember what you need here. Demonic Choo Choo, you know, Demonic Blood, Demonic something. I forgot the actual name. One of that. And then you also need one uh, Death Whisper Potion. Easy. If you have if you have collected at least 50 um, Honor Tokens, you can go to the Merchant in the Faction Hall. And then I think you need 200 Unstable Substance. Now, Unstable Substance will be tricky because you need to keep killing these guys for unstable substance. You can also go unnamed city for scourge reapers. You can also go outside of the uh you know, remember the place where we go cold embrace portal? There are scourge reapers in there, just be careful. But then again, the risk of dying uh and your thralls dying for the Alarican plague is really high. And that is the main reason why you need to craft these guys as soon as possible. Because, move, man. because if you already have them, if you already have them, you don't have to worry about fighting Ilarican Plague, you know, mobs and bosses because they don't die in Ilarican Plague. That's one. They're 100% immune. And you need a lot of unstable substances for crafting materials. Trust me. 
And also, you need a lot of human blood. Oh my god, I remember the grind in actual playthrough. Human blood, unstable substance, chronixium here, chronix there, aluminium, tin. Oh my god, the gems. Uh, that may that makes it more fun though. Makes it more fun, but it's just it requires a lot of work. That's why <clears throat> the playthrough would usually reach twenty episodes, sometimes even thirty, depending on how crazy it gets when someone comes into my chat and you know will do things that I don't like them to do. Usually I stop the I usually I stop the you know I stop the progress and then talk about it because <sighs> I, I don't I don't have the tolerance yet. I entertain this kind of bull crap. All right. No, uh, I said don't move. Oh shit, okay, hold on. The hell? Tell me when you're done, okay? Uh, what, what? That one? Like that? Just stay. Okay, I will stay. All right. Uh, let's check the map while she's taking a photo. Okay, Did can you we... like unequip your? Okay, good. Unequip my what? That's... No, no, no. Just, just stay. Okay. Okay. I'm now, to did the we camera miss? Again any big camp so the camp that us was talking about here there are no t6 to t9 spawn points in there they're just all t uh, t5s a lot of hounds a lot of kilgorians or maybe van Gul. i can't remember there's also one here but again it's just a quest npc no tameable T6 to T9, just T5s. Kilgorians. Uh, let's see. Van Gogh here. Scourge. Stormhold. Elven. Okay, it's good now. Van Gogh. Um. Hmm. Elvin, Hold Embrace, um, on the tip of C12, on the tip of C, A, A, B, C, C12, am I right? This is C, yeah, C, on the tip of C12 right here, I think. Um, Felgarth. No fighter, though. There are fighters in there, but you don't really want to risk that place just to get a fighter. It's good for getting archers, like the, the mages. But if you want to get the fighters in there, that's good. They use katanas. Oh, I think they changed it. I'm not sure. I can't remember if the katana wielders are still there. And then in the volcano... Is there like an AOC camp in the volcano? I can't recall. Let me think. I don't think there are AOC camps in the volcano. Oz, can you think of AOC camps in the volcano? I can't remember. I don't think there it, are. I don't think there don't are, know. yeah. Okay, I, I don't... You guys tell me because I can't. I can't remember. Um, here... It's a quest NPC, also Kilgorians. Uh, T5s. The NPC is not tameable. Forgot her name. She's a quest NPC for, um, for main quest. I think we pretty much covered every camp, big and small. So you can take your pick. Alright? You can take your pick. Oh! Hold on. Inside the library... Uh, where you can learn the world map, there are Elvenors. But then again, Crafter Thralls, Fighters, maybe. Mage, most of them. That's where you can get uh, T9 Archers, T8 Archers. Um, he wants T5. Um, T5 always fighting with the T5 also from Stormhold. I go down this way... I go library, Elvenor, nothing here. The Triumvirates, nothing is inside. In this area, Uncle. Um, 
the Ilarican Plague Bangul. No, I think it's a grunt. Yeah, Bangul grunt. And then a red mother. Hold embrace. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know if I miss something. Elgorian. Stormhold and um Stormhold and Van Gogh. Stormhold here. Van Gogh here. Um Where Volner is is Elvin. This is where the Cold Embrace camp is. Big Mama. Yeah. I think that's all that I can remember. Um, we're not talking about... You might say, oh, you forgot the camp in G3. G3 are T1s and T2s. You know, foot, you know, foot Soldier and Squire. Those are T1, T2. They're weaker than T4. So... We, we don't consider those. There's also one here. But again, they're T1s and T2s. They just move really fast. But they're not powerful as T4 um, vanilla. That's why they're uh, that's why they're categorized as T1 to T2. Let me know in the... Oh! There we go. I thought I forgot something. Um, Silver Coven. There are five or four of them. All T5s right here. So this is a bridge. I, I actually told you earlier, but you said no. What do you mean? Ah, I said no because there's no officer spawn point in there. They're just T5s. There's no T6 to T9. So they're just T5s. I think there are four of them or five. You will know. The moment you pass through the, the bridge, it's a, it's a root, a big tree is actually here they're just walking around here the grunts are here so they're far if you want to get mages t5 early not too many it's a good spot the stormhold camp in the dark forest <laughs> the stormhold camp in the dark forest what do you mean near yeah, near... yeah yeah on the right it's where it's where the the last quest that you're gonna get for stormhold yeah, where the temple of Harbinger yeah. is. There are two um, officer spawn points in there, but I don't advise it. It's That place yeah. is riddled with T5s. Yep. So don't. No, 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 no. It's not a good place. And Hellcat, not Hellcat, sorry. Sometimes the Scourge Reapers go in there. Remember? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it goes in there. Oh! What? Oh shit, that scared me. Monkey doo doo. Hold on. And in in the novel, like the book, that's how it was as well. Like when they were like fighting. So the, the scourge reapers also got involved. Yeah. Hmm, accurate. <laughs> okay, I think we pretty much covered everything. We just need to find a T nine. That's the only thing remaining. But. With the progress of things, T9 is easy to get. Still. Sorry, I think I misspoke when I said easy. I really don't like that word also. It's doable to get without the purple orb. It is. It's not a it's not a speculation anymore. And I'm so glad that we were able to test it on a T8. Because T8 is the closest that we have in this stream. All you need to do is to be in the right position. Do not be in the middle of the camp. There should be there should be places or, you know, uh, probably some ledges. If you want to cheese it, it's up to you. But you can always go up, you know, the hill a little bit. Something like that. But me, I just want to fight them. You know, setting a good example. It is doable, and maybe on our next stream, um, I'm not sure if it's going to be tomorrow or maybe next week, uh, we will try to see if uh, there will be some T9s. Maybe I can keep killing the, the, the lower tier and then hopefully once we get a T9, uh, we're going to we're gonna show it on the next, you know, 
that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, actually, Oz is killing all the the officer spawn points right now, so that we can test an actual T9. That will be the final nail um, on the coffin right there. The moment that we're able to tame T9, that's it. We can already say, therefore I conclude, you guys are just whining without trying. It is still possible to get it without the purple orb. I'm, I'm about to say it now. I know it's obvious that we can already do it, but I will not say it until we actually do it with an actual T9. So what did we learn from this stream? Please progress. Respect the progression. Do not cut corners. It will get you killed. It will get your thralls killed. Just stay like that, okay? Don't move. The vanilla game needs to be played until level 60. AOC is meant to be played after 60. That's what the mod is for. That's why most of the juicy content goes after level 60. If it's Iwa, the juicy content goes after level 120. Respecting the progression could be grindy, but then again, it could be fun, especially if it's your first time playing the game. That's one thing that I can, you know, tell you. For now, even though it's obvious that we can do it with a T9, we're not going to do it yet because I want to I want to have it captured on video. All right. Did are you already done, Oz? Oz is doing something. I don't What are you doing? I don't know I what she's doing. Picture. Okay. I'm holding my spear. That's really cool. Did you get a good angle? Oh, me and my shoulder pet. We're twinning. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, next week is holidays. I know. Happy Thanksgiving in advance, Ash. I know Happy I can send I know I can send <laughs> it through Discord, you guys. Um I really envy the Thanksgiving thingy. I wish there's like Thanksgiving in the Philippines. So that I'm we can done. I wanna eat a big old turkey. Right? And then arguing with the family member. It's always like that. Those are the bullet points of Thanksgiving. Turkey. Family drama. And alcohol. If if one of those things are not present. It's not present, I mean. Then you're not doing the Thanksgiving right. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but that's... I... Uh, that's what usually my my friends in the U.S. would always say, <laughs> and I ju I'm just paraphrasing. Here's how we celebrate. Let me tell let me tell you. Let me tell you, Jake. This is how we celebrate Thanksgiving. All right, and it's not Thanksgiving if one of these elements is not present. A big old turkey. Family members arguing, family drama, and alcohol. One of those things missing, you're not doing Thanksgiving right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to mimic the accent, but, you know, I don't have a well-modulated voice, but that's how it sounded. We don't argue, we just eat and drink. <laughs> Maybe the argue goes <laughs> after drinking. But yeah, I, I don't I don't want that. I, I've, I've been, I, I grew up in a family where most of the time the family members argue or like simple things, and I really hated it. And as a child, especially if there's a kid in the house, it, it it's some, somehow scars you for life it, there, it, there will there will be a long-term impact to that it means me i think the long-term impact for me is i i don't like people to argue in a way that it's so hard to actually <laughs> explain yourself and you have to explain yourself why you don't need to argue some sometimes it's, you know people are illogical and they will make use of any excuses why you know, they're becoming offensive or being misunderstood. But nonetheless, I, I hate it. I hate that feeling. That's why I always evade when when someone is trying to do that. And I I tend to, you know, become an ass. Especially if uh, I know that, you know, I'm on the right. Especially if I know I'm, I'm on the right. Well, sometimes, lol, but food is first and then... Yeah, I think... 
food and alcohol and then after argue that would be good at least you know before arguing <laughs> uh, before before arguing you're already full i think it will be very awkward to eat while you're arguing with someone at the same <laughs> at the same table uh, i've seen a lot of movies and i know it's just you know it's just a movie but it's it's funny when it's like the thanksgiving i think there's a movie titled the thanksgiving so yeah, I I do envy that that you have you guys have Thanksgiving, you have Black Friday, you have Cyber Monday. Ooh, Black Friday goes crazy, right? That's the video that you will see on the internet when people yep. are waiting <laughs> by the door, the last second that the shop opens or store opens for Black Friday, and then sometimes they fight <laughs> over an item and they they become physical. You know, I I I I don't know if I. I can say I like that. I like it because the things are very cheap that time. But I don't like it when, you know, you get hurt. People are nuts and I don't go out on Black Friday. <laughs> Good job, Ash. I don't think it's worth it. Cyber Monday all the way. Oh, what's the difference, Ash? We have we have heard of this type of culture, watch videos, see, you know, videos I mean. But I really don't fully understand the difference between Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So maybe you can give us an idea. Us work in the same company before that I did. And we always have crazy time during Cyber Monday and Black Friday. But we don't really see the difference. But for some reason, you like Cyber Monday more than Black Friday. It's all deals and cheap stuff online instead. Ah, cyber. The answer is in the name itself. Did you get that, Oz? Yep. Black Friday, physical stores. Black, uh, they call it brick and mortar. And then Cyber Monday, it's no longer brick and mortar. You go e-commerce, eBay, Amazon, whatever online thingy you have. Lazada, Shopee. Those are our local, you know. <laughs> Local Walmart and, <laughs> and, and Amazon, Lazada, and Shopee. Okay, I'm already, you know, I'm just keeping it light, guys, because I like light streams. And I hope you're, li you're liking the progression. I'm not yet done. We still have a T9 to tame. But I bet uh, that time I would probably show how the, the hounds are crafted so that we can seal the deal with progressive taming. Because taming is not only for thralls. Taming is also for pets. Uh, we will cover the pets last as long as we're done with the T9 hunt. Oz is already on it. We will not restart the server until we're already able to, to do the video for T9. But we will keep killing them until we get a T9. And we will try to get the T9 legit. In a legit way. Uh, based on what we have. Level 80. If we cannot handle the T9 while level 80... We still have level 120. Well, level 120 will give us more armor, will give us the Kernixium Trungeon, and will give us, you know, better chance of survivability for our Thralls. If it cannot be done, and you're already 120, it cannot be done with all the items in level 120, then that's a time we can say, okay, Purple Orb is needed. Or it could be, no, Purple Orb is not needed, even for, even for level 80. It could go either way. It could go either way. So we're not making that conclusion yet. I will see you guys on the next one. Note, the next one may be tomorrow. I'm not making any promises. The next one may be tomorrow. The next one may be, you know, next week. Uh, I will not stream within the weekdays because it's holiday in the US. Most of you guys will be busy. Maybe next weekend. So if you haven't followed, subscribe, if you haven't turned on your notification yet, uh, please do if you like the content, if you like me, if you like us, if you like the content, please do so. So that you can receive a notification when we are posting our live stream. I usually post it the day before and um, at least you will have enough time to, you know, um, decide if you are able to join or not. I appreciate all you guys for staying. Ash, thank you so much for being with us. For those who have been here and enjoying the stream, learning from, you know, our stream. 
I really appreciate it. And um, thank you for your undying support. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now. And for those who are from the US, happy Thanksgiving in advance. And um, I hope that your family may receive all the blessings that it deserves. Bye bye for now. And thank bye you guys. Bye bye, Oz. Thank you. Bye thank bye you, my admin goddess. Bye bye. Enjoy our turkey day. <laughs> <laughs> turkey, turkey, turkey. Bye bye, you guys. Bye bye. <laughs>